Okay, and here we are, everybody. So welcome. We are all set up, and we're going to play some more Yu-Gi-Oh! today. I hope you're all excited. I've been having a blast with this. I say that every episode, but really, because it's true. Now, we finally have our burn deck going on, and we also still have my main deck, which works pretty well with Jesse here. The last thing I did was, like, win a whole tournament. However, we have to wait for, um... We have to wait for the weekend. Oh, hang on. Did uh, the chat just fix itself? Mods were having an error there. That's funny. Anyway, let's check out the forest. It's funny because um, the last episode of this, I put Skull Invitation in the thumbnail, and I'm pretty sure because of that, everyone knew I made the burn deck, and that episode got like immediately more uh, more views than normal, which is pretty cool. Twitch has had issues today, really? Not the only one? Okay. Well, if hopefully we don't have, like, a disconnect like we did the last couple streams. That would suck. Kenyo and Revolution 2. Well, let's duel his level 2 deck. He's the Mushroom Man guy. Let's do a tag duel. Let's get warmed up. And then we'll pull some more cards from Sadie's pack. Well, we can't do that till the weekend, but, you know... First to go, doesn't matter. I went. I spent the morning just kind of doing some shopping. I got some Pokemon cards. Didn't really have any more Yu-Gi-Oh tins, though. I kind of wanted to get some. Perfect. I don't really know what to really build with modern Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I was probably going to open some with my brother Andrew and my buddy, who uh, knows the game, so they can tell me what I should build from that. Okay. Now then, we'll go ahead and set this. Mmm, this doesn't synergize with Crystal Beast, as we know. But it will with this. I don't think I need to put Mirror Force down yet. We need the room. Thank you, Luminant Gamer, for the resub. Are we just doing Yu-Gi-Oh! today? Um, I want to do some Rune Factory after, but I don't want to, like, super promise it in case I'm too tired, because I had trouble sleeping last night. Oh, it's Mother Grizzly, okay. Hey, that's my plan. Um, we shouldn't. Let's do that. Well, I think I have a solution. And we'll activate the effect of flying Kamakiri number one. Mother Grizzly will activate. How do you decide wh whose chain goes off? Does the attacker go first for that? Chain rules in Yu-Gi-Oh! are a little weird to me. Well, looks like I'm gonna do this. I don't know why I put in attack mode. Oh, right, because that's Mother Grizzly's effect. Watching me play Yu-Gi-Oh! has been your sleeping aid. Well, listening to me play Yu-Gi-Oh! Well, I'm glad you enjoy it. Again, I say it every episode, but I'm always just shocked at how well these VODs are doing. But it's good. When I enjoy playing a, a game like this... Hang on a second, we'll do this. And it does well. It means I don't have to worry about, um... Worry about the rest of the games I'm playing. I can just play some random stuff. And it, even if it does badly, I can just be like, Well, Yu-Gi-Oh is still doing good. There goes that. Like, uh, this weekend, I decided to do a Castlevania randomizer. And then I played, um, Resident Evil Remake on the Invisible Enemy mode. Those were really fun streams. I had a good time with those. Let me see. I can special summon you and just go with you. I think I will set Mirror Force now. I'm worried about Heavy Storm, but it's only Kenyo. We'll do this. Yeah, we're gonna play the burn deck, don't worry, but we're getting warmed up with this duel. I still need some more pieces as well. Then we'll summon you. We don't want to use Eagle's effect. Thank you, the Graph 27 there for a sub. I appreciate it. Let me see now. All right. Oh, by the way, we're actually close to another emote slot. I wanted to mention that right quick. Not that I'm trying to ask people to, like, you know, give for that or anything, but after, like, the previous streams where Twisted Squid just dropped 100 gift subs, I noticed we were absurdly close to another slot. Hang on. Get him. I even straight up told them in the Discord, don't. I Just because I'm saying we're close, don't you dare give more. <laughs> okay, let's do it. 
So ultimate offering just lets you summon during your battle phase like that. That's so weird. Hold up. You're in the main phase, your opponent's battle phase. Yeah, that is such a weird effect. Look at that. Oh yeah, the AI in this game can be very silly for sure. Yeah, let's do it. I don't think anything's ever going to top the Paradox Brothers duel where they creature swapped their uh, Gate Guardian piece. And that's that right there. Well, I'm glad you like my streams, friend. Mm. Personally, I'm self-conscious of every single thing I play like a day after I upload it. <laughs> Ancient City, Rainbow Ruins. Sometimes when I do a soft laugh, I feel like the microphone barely picks it up, so it just sounds like a crusty noise. Ooh, he's still packing Muyong Curry. Thank you for gifting, it, gifting us up there, Kuda. Hope you're still feeling better. Let's do that. Um, should I go for a tribute? I guess we don't really need Carbuncle there. And this will just be dead in my hand otherwise. We can't do anything because of Nightmare Steel Cage. End turn. Oh yeah, I want to check out the 5D stuff for sure. Perfect. There's definitely some old playthroughs I want my salty runbacks on. I've talked about Digimon Card Battle. I kind of, like, was not feeling that for a while and then stopped it. But I want to go back and beat it all the way through. That will probably be, like, one of my New Year's plans to do. There's a lot of games I want to play soon. Going into the next year, I should say. Well, I guess we're going to go all in. Surely he can't have any more stuff, right? Surely. Come on, let's finally attack and win. Hmm. I better play it safe. What's he got? <sighs> Mushroom Man 2. Let's do it. Too many games to stream, too little time. I know. That's why what I've been doing recently is sometimes at the end of a stream for the second game, I'll play something for like an hour or so. And then over time, I'll stitch those short segments together for a, a, a big VOD. That way I can get something, kind of get something out without having to dedicate like a whole like day or afternoon to it. It's worked pretty well for Rune Factory. Farm games are definitely better suited to it. Let's do it. Thank you for the resub there, 007 Demon. Pardon me. I misread your name for a second there, didn't I? Oh boy. Digimon card battle is, is, uh, hold up. Chat scrolling. Digimon card battle is the sequel to a game that never got localized. Do not recommend playing it on stream. There's a reason the West didn't get it. Whoa, okay. You're, it, what happens? What Digimon game wasn't allowed to be translated? What happened? Am I reading that correctly or are you responding to someone else? I lost Tisk. Okay, sick. Now, I think we should switch to the burn deck. Oh my, really? They, they made Agumon look like, uh... Look like, uh, that historical figure? <laughs> That's a little hard to believe. But if it's you telling me, I don't think you're bamboozling me. It's a bad joke that they put in, and that's why they didn't want to translate it. It was the entire plot of the game in a weird way. Okay, wow. That, that's really, really weird. Let's take Agumon and make him look like that one guy in history who, uh, wasn't a very great fella. Just googled it, what the F? <laughs> wow. I'm surprised that's real. I don't think they can do a Persona 2 and just give him a pair of sunglasses. I think YouTube has figured out what I'm trying to what I'm trying to say now. <laughs> Hang on a second. In case I made any edits to this, let me make a quick save over this. Very interesting. I had no idea about that. And now we're gonna go ahead and load recipe. Oh, I love the Persona games, but I can't stream them. Atlas is infamously terrible about that. You're not even allowed to stream the last chunks of the game because they don't want people to spoil it. Because, you know, people watching the end of a video game 
would, you know, see the end of the video game. Okay. Teddy Toll has been set up. Now let's find some people to solo duel against. What about you? Reason to Live. Brown. I uh, haven't dueled his new deck. We could try you. Let's do a solo duel against him. Now, currently, my burn deck, it's kind of hit or miss. We don't have all the pieces we need for it yet, so it's easy to kind of brick, but it's still super fun. Streamer who got arrested in Japan. That was, uh, from what I understand, that dude, like, he posted gameplay of a game that wasn't out yet. Like, he got it through nefarious means, so... I don't think I, I don't think that was the same as Atlas's weird conditions. Atlas puts spoilers in their own trailers anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch trailers. Trailers just make waiting for games take longer to me. Okay, we'll put this down, and we will end on Chain Energy. And now we let him pay to play the game. You can stream Persona, but say thank you to Atlas every 20 minutes. Oh, oh, no. What do you think's worse, chat? Hold up. First, we'll flip Skull Invitation. Hmm. And I suppose I'll flip this, because why not? When Square Enix offered me a sponsorship, they wanted me to stop and thank them every 20 minutes on stream, and that's why I said no. If you're out of the loop, that's what, what, that's what chat is referencing. Anyways, I'm getting, like, bodied right now, because that's pretty brutal. Well, looks like I should probably just use Penguin Soldier. I'm going to have to pay to play my cards. See, this is what I mean. One bad hit, and bam, we're in trouble. And I'm going to have to pay half my life points to stop something silly as well. So, let's go with it. Attack orders. As long as card, all face-up monsters on the field are changed to attack position. Positions cannot be changed. Well, that hardly matters. He's going to put in attack mode anyway. Yeah, I may have already lost this one. Okay. Hmm. Even if I do this, it's not going to do much to me, huh? Let's think about it. Like, the problem is, if this goes to the graveyard, I lose 300 life points anyway when I activate it, so it's not even worth it. I shouldn't have said it. Oh, wait. They get flipped into attack mode? Oh, I didn't realize that. I thought that didn't apply to monsters getting killed when they're set. That's unfortunate. Anyway, this one attacked, so we'll do this. And we'll do this. I get one more turn. And who am I kidding? I'm, I've lost. The attack orders guy really does kind of just, like, body me, doesn't he? That's fine. We can destiny draw, but I don't think it's going to do much. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Um... But even if I flip this, I lose because I have to pay 500 life points to set it. And then when it goes to the graveyard on activation, I take another 300 from Skull Invitation. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> it's super over. We're stumbling over our burn strategy. Wait. Mm, hang on. Hang on. If he plays enough cards on his turn, hang on. No, he's not gonna. He's not going to. But we can at least do this. It would have been funny if it could have been a tie. See? I lost before he could get me. Burn doesn't work well in this game. Dude, I've only done a few duels of it, and I don't have all the pieces yet. It's not really... Uh, can't really give a whole verdict on that. Either way, we get quick hearts for Jesse. No one's really hanging out here. Now nah, we're not gonna go... We do need to advance the uh, the days a little bit faster, though. Hmm. Because we can't buy Sadie packs until Saturday. 
But at the same time, it wouldn't hurt to earn more duel points and raise Jesse's hearts, because we're close to another event, actually. I should make sure I switch my deck around soon. There's no one here. Anyone here? Check the Slifer dorm after school, because why not? He loves this place. Oh, yeah. There's a Tag Force 4, 5, and 6, and they're all 5Ds games. Perfect. Nobody is here today. Holy moly, everyone left. Check the beach. I was just going to hang out at the beach. Okay. Haven't dueled you. Burn deck would be super bad against uh, the other guy, I think, but... Do a, let's do a normal duel, because I really want to burn. I want to get it to work. Well, I know what I need for the burn deck. The problem is that the pack for it, you can't buy it unless it's a weekend, because Sadie only works the counter at the weekends for some random reason. You really should be able to buy packs whenever you want. It's kind of arbitrary. Now then, let's see if we can start with this. We have a heavy storm to get ourselves out of a jam if needed. Now we'll do this. Perfect. Set him on fire. Oh, I accidentally pressed circle. I'm thinking Nintendo controllers now. Let's go. King of the Swamp. Ooh, that's right. Feel the teddy burn. Pay the teddy toll. Instant fusion. Oh no, don't burn yourself to bring out flame swordsman. Anything but that. Mother Grizzly. Um, the monster's gonna be gone anyway. I might as well just, just desserts at two. Every time I wait for three, the monsters are already gone by then. Oh, that's beautiful right there. You love to see it. Another just desserts. Sick. Penguin soldier combos well with um chain energy because you bounce cards back to their hand and then that, that pay to play them again. This guy is not very smart, yeah. His deck isn't that great either. Let him summon some more monsters. Called haunted? Oh, is that his big plan? Oh no. Oh no, anything but that. Ooh, this is perfect. Can we do that? And then we do that. Call the haunts, it didn't get destroyed though. Oh, nice. I think we should turn up the heat. And now he takes a thousand per turn and we win. Yeah, go ahead. Destiny draw. See if it helps you. Now this is silly. He's summoning bears, though. You have to respect that. Oh. And now we can't attack. Because it... Yeah, I'll, I'll play it. I will play the Teddy Toll. Let's do it. We'll end it. Anyways, I got I re just realized I got a little bit distracted talking earlier by uh, what was happening in the duel. I mentioned that I was just kind of stitching um, short sessions together for long VODs, because that does pretty well. Because I remember last year, I tried to play some farm games, but I was a little bit demotivated because, you know, farm games, they're better suited to long sessions, but... Not everyone really likes them, but if I play them a little bit at a time on stream and then I edit together a big VOD for YouTube, people love it when that's uploaded once in a while. I just be like, whoa, four or five hours of Rune Factory all of a sudden? I'll take that. There we go. And by the time I have it ready, it just feels like an extra upload. Not like one of the main things, if that makes any sense. Mmm, I don't remember. You know what? 
I'll, I'll give it a try. I didn't mean to talk to him. Let's do it. I would like to do Stardew Expanded sometime, yeah. The big mod. Let's do it. Currently today, we're going to do some Yu-Gi-Oh! And tomorrow, maybe continue the Egglock. Because the Pokemon DLC comes out in a couple days. And I obviously want to focus on that when it's new. By the way, chat. I did actually finish playing Lies of P on my own last night. And I definitely want to stream a new game of that from the beginning. I already want to play it again. That's how much I liked it. Maybe after the DLC is done. Okay. Koala's a good start. We'll set all this and hope he doesn't magic cylinder... Or sorry, heavy storm me. Hmm... You beta tested Stardew Valley Expanded years ago. It's cool. Okay, Teddy Toll has been set up. Now let's wait for the new attack. I'm pretty sure Ruby Carbuncle is on the loading screen because he's just like front and center on the cover of Tag Force 2. Um... What's this one? The kick man. Yeah. Don't need a magic cylinder him yet. Wait for the big boy. Oh, that's great. I only have one copy of Koala, by the way. Ooh, look at that. Extra Hamon in case we want it. Oh, or Hamilton. And I guess we can set this, bait him into attacking, but we don't have Skull Invitation to combo it yet. Stim pack. No, go ahead, actually. Bloodsucker. Pay the toll. I think now we'll activate just desserts. This is what I love to see. Watch, he set himself up for a great turn. 1,500. Now you get discarded. Now pay the toll. And now you're gonna get... Magic Cylindered for 2,000. You want to cross this bridge? Hand over all the cookies. Don't need the Dust Tornado. Oh, sick. There's my third copy of Just Desserts. I literally win with this. You can't finish them off with Toll, unfortunately, because they can't pay if they don't have enough. Oh, bro. Oh, bro, I, s I wish that I saved Magic Cylinder for this moment. Oh, my God. <laughs> that would have been so funny. He's paying the toll. And now he's paying for more. Oh, wait, what? Oh! He negated it. Unfortunately for him, um... You, uh... Can't do anything, because you can't pay the toll, buddy. But just because I don't like you, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna break this. And now he can't beat over me. Even if he could attack. The Tandy Toll says no. Let's do it. Perfect. Chain energy. If I play Chain Energy, he literally can't play cards anymore. I win. <laughs> I could get three spells down and just put Hamilton out. Is the Stim Pack killing you? Yeah, it is. Oh! In the GBA game, Eternal Dula Soul, Tristan's AI will continue making him attack past Toll and Gravekeeper Servant, even if he can't survive it. Okay. Hamilton for the kill. This, this is one way to get rid of my extra Tolls and Chain Energies when I need the kill, isn't it? Look at that. I think that's something. 360. 
You can easily grind Tristan and reshap a destruction. That's what I did. He's one of the easiest duelists to just beat quickly for the amount of experience he gives. Let's run out here. It's night time. Can I still buy sandwiches? And damn, everyone's hanging out here. Who's this? Oh, Mindy and Alexis are partners now. Wound of defeat. Nathan, down the hall. Haven't dueled you guys, apparently. Or one of you. Let's buy one sandwich. Just to fill up the heart. Actually, no, this is a waste. I'll probably get it from dueling anyway. Ah, it's a very minor. Okay, brute power. Let's duel you. Let's warm up the burn deck some more. You all want to see the burns happen. Packs, but I can't buy the pack I want. Oh, I picked. A few things I think I really want to do next month. Um, We've talked a lot about Digimon. Now, I still have Digimon Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory to play. But... Since I mentioned play, replaying Digimon World 1 on PS1, um, people really want to see that again. And honestly, I kind of want to play it again, too. Because it's so crusty and old and, like, t early 2000s nostalgia. Like, it's such a crusty game. I love it. I could go for 100% um, prosperity again. Hmm. Go with Poison Mummy first. Okay, we'll set you... This is actually good for me. Yeah, but yeah, I'll keep your field spell, buddy. We'll set Poison Mummy and end turn. If I'm gonna play Digimon World 1 again, I probably should also make that another series that has super long bods. It's definitely suited to it. Now, there is uh, a hack, though, a fan-made patch that fixes some of the crust, but I've been debating whether or not I want to use it because people love the crust, and I almost wonder if I should bother using it or do something else. Hmm. Could put the mummy down again because they're probably going to be dumb enough to attack into it. Yeah, let's do that. We've seen the crust twice, may as well see what fans do. I mean, yeah, naming that playthrough after the patch would also be a good way to separate it, right? But if I ever do get around to making, like, a giant video, which I, I want to, I really do, but it's going to be such a long video, and I need to get so many things right, so that's probably years away from now. I barely finished videos this year because of my injury, but that's all right. Okay, we're going to Magic Cylinder you. Nobody wins at Digimon World. That's right. Nobody ever does. Okay, this is looking good. Now you have a bunch of face downs. Or a back row. I can set this and we're probably good. Perfect. Rock Spirit. Did he really tribute for that weak monster? Damn. Damn. Why is the Rock Spirit a spellcaster and not rock? Because video game, I guess. I've pretty much won. Hmm. Problem is the Dancing Fairy with all that stuff there. I could just Heavy Storm to make sure that they can't beat over anything anymore. I'd have to give up my Skull Invitation, but it's whatever. Set this, and they'll probably finish themselves off by attacking into this boy. Here we go. He's going Destiny Draw, because he deserves it. Oh, they're not attacking. They're running scared. Perfect. Oh, nice. Well, this will fix everything I need. No hand left. All right, perfect, we'll do this. 
I've actually like had three videos like far into their script for the last while, but I just haven't made much progress throughout the year, sadly. I do really, really want to finish Mega Man though. Um, no, this is fine. I'll let them just attack into it and win. Nope. Chain energy. Oh, come on, just attack me already. Let's do it. Mist body. You know what? I'll just activate this so it goes to the graveyard. And I win. Let's get him. Perfect. I don't like rushing videos for the other channel. Contrary to popular belief. I could throw something together, like, every, like, week if I really wanted to, but it would suck. Guess I still need to train some more. Perfect. Prefer to just enjoy streaming and passively work on yellow channel videos for when they're good and ready. Let me see. Jesse's almost to full heart, I think. Okay, let's duel Nathan. One more burn, and then let's go to back to tag dueling with Jesse for a bit. I'm working on the one for four. I even uploaded a playthrough, a, a stream VOD playthrough of four the other week. Draw, draw, draw. Lose, win. Normal duel. Single mode. Yeah, why throw together a video over there every week when I can just play Yu-Gi-Oh multiple times a week? Remember, it's all about that watch time anyway. Okay, we'll set the Koala. We'll set Mirror Force. And we'll go ahead and throw down Burning Land. We're going to set the Teddy Bear Picnic on fire and everyone's going to cry. Perfect. Ooh, Chain Energy. I'll go ahead and set Golem, yeah, Gear Golem the Moving Fortress. He doesn't look like a moving fortress, but whatever. And we'll put this down. Hmm. Why not just make a Pokemon Gen 10 prediction video? Oh, you're right. Top 10 things to expect in the new Pokemon games. Number 10, Pokemon. Number 9, potential crossover with Digimon. He's using Soul Exchange. Gosh darn. Well, he's got his counters going on now, and now he's popping my cards. That's kind of mean, not gonna lie. But I'll just activate another one. And... You know, I could crash Yomi ship and... Nah... That won't work because of the counters. Maybe he needs to use them up first. Burning Land. Main phase one. Okay, he's popping the Burning Lands, whatever. He has to pay more life points to do things than me, though. Boss Rush. 500. Controller of this... Uh, hold up a second before I flip Mirror Force. Controller of this card cannot normal summon or set. During the end phase of the turn that a monster on your side of the field includes BES and its card name, or its name Big Core is destroyed, sent to the graveyard. Special summon from your deck, a monster that includes BES and its card name, or is named Big Car. Big Core. I almost said Big Card. <sighs> hmm. How many. <sighs> Still has a counter, so. Destroy the result of battle. He's not going to be able to beat over me anyway, so we're good. Maybe wait for him to play more monsters and then flip the Mirror Force. Okay, he's out of counters on it. Good. Just desserts. We'll have to wait for that. Real duelists don't read their cards, while well, Paradox Brothers definitely didn't. Hang on, what is this one again? Yomi Ship. Yeah, that's fine. Does this count as destroyed by battle? Okay, good. It didn't pop his... No, it did. Never mind. Never mind. I thought it said control by... Or destroyed by battle. But this is okay. When you normal summon it... Aha. 
And ooh, here we go. Pay to play this game. All right, chat, line up, get your cookies. You want to pass by this bridge, you better hand them over. Your cookies or your money? Or all of them. And we're good. Yeah, they're, those cards are like a crusty archetype based on Gradius, I think. Uh-oh. Not giant Trunade. That's not good. Hold up, hold up, hold up. How much attack power do they have? 2,500. Uh, oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, no. He just put the bear out of the job. Can you believe it? Well, at least that wasn't too bad. Now he gets to summon it back. Great. Did I get any useful insights on my Twitch recap? Um, according to the Twitch recap, my top three streamed categories for last year, um, it was Pokemon Crystal, probably because of the Crystal Kaizo. The second one was Tag Force 1, because we played that for the majority, majority of the year. And uh, the third one was for the Toho category, which is hilarious, because apparently when I stream Toho once in a blue moon with my brother, that puts me in the top percent of Toho streamers just from that alone. That's so funny to me. Anyways, let's go ahead and put this stuff down. Should I just go all in? I could. Pay the toll. Didn't black and white three count as crystal? That's true. I did use crystal Pokemon Crystal category for that. But it's not a big deal. I know that the Cheering Teddy Ursa emote is the number one emote used by all of you. Okay, the one where he hops up and down. See if he summons another monster first. Okay, he didn't. Pay the toll. Well, well, well. Looks like somebody's about to get hit by the no-you. Just desserts. That's right, we love Teddy Ursus in this chat. Or else. Look at that, we did it. 674 from it, too. Even the burn deck's not gonna help me use 20 spell cards in a duel. Unless I pull more. Yeah, but you're much stronger than me. I'll get you next time. Okay, Jesse is probably at max hearts here. So let's go ahead and switch back to our tag duel deck. I could just play a deck with 40 spells, but will I survive long enough to do that? Death Wombat never really coming up yet. Playing the burn deck is fun, but if we can hoard all of our stuff together... We can get even better burn cards. Because right now, the big thing is... Um, I only have one copy of Koala. One copy of Wombat. Uh, do I want Chain Energy at three? I kind of do, because it's stupid. Hmm. How about we duel Alexis and Mindy? That'll be funny. Let's get her. The thing is, the cha the duelist challenges aren't worth making a whole deck for. They're just something you can kind of put there to maybe be useful, to maybe give you extra points. It's not worth building it. It's not worth the time to build a deck around. He's playing the Rainbow Ruins. Let him go. Let him cook. Swords. Okay. Hmm. Could put down Ryza and throw your swords back in your face. Then Mindy wouldn't be able to play it on her turn, and Jesse could probably attack. Yeah, I'll, I'll try that. I'll hope that one face down is nothing. Swords of Revealing Spite. Yeah. Throw it away. And I guess I'll set this to see if Jesse can use it on his turn. Let's do it. 2,400. 
Hit her with the big boop. And Mindy's gonna be doing Mindy things now. Level limit. Oh, of course you are. Of course you are. Oh, no. Oh, no. She didn't. Well, then. Jesse didn't want to discard something there. What's he doing? He's bringing the tiger back, but the level limit puts it in defense mode. You genius. Mandy just said, what if we all just died? <laughs> yeah. Snatch deal. You're literally helping me survive now, Alexis. What are you doing? Now, if only we had the cat. Maybe I should just open a bunch of Crystal Beast packs and just make a pure dedicated Crystal Beast synergy deck now. I've mostly just been doing, like, win stuff, but I have the money for it, too. Hmm. I guess I'll just set this and hope we win the, uh... We win the timer. Four hundred! Four hundred! Make Amethyst Cat beat down. Mostly when I pull the cards, I only ever get like one copy of each. I'm kinda missing a lot of pieces, but that's whatever. Definitely wanna run three copies of um Hamilton though. Or not three, maybe three? Because we're both going to fill the back row with spells super easily now. <clears throat> okay. Well, we can't really do anything because that, that stupid level limit. Put it there. What is she destiny drawing for? You brat. 1600, 1600. We literally win. What are you doing? We win now. Good job, Mindy. You've killed Alexis. How do you do it, Mindy? How do you do it? This can't be, I lost. Can't believe you lost. I can, because Mindy. Okay, hearts seem to be full. Want some cards? You know I want some cards. Let's do it. Now then. What's this? Banner of Courage. This pack... How did I unlock this? Well, now I have access to warrior monsters. Has six samurai on the cover. Is this only available during certain times? Because it doesn't look like it, actually. Winning the Raw Yellow Tournament. Oh, okay, okay. Um, well, we don't need to do that yet. Let's see if I can pull some stuff for to make a deck with Jesse. I mean, I already have a good deck for Jesse, but I may as well go full synergy, because why not? Let's open these ones right now and see what we get. More eagle. Oh, hey, cat. The gods of RNG have spoken. Make a cat deck. Cloudian sheeps, a volcanic rat. Chaos burst. Got amber mammoth. You definitely want to have three copies of Pegasus. I know that. Come on. Damn. You got Venom Swamp. Another Tiger. I'm pretty sure I only have one copy of Pegasus. Darn. Well, I got some stuff. Damage equals Reptile. If I can't get the three Pegasus, there's no point in making the deck. Try some more. Crystal Blessing. 
I don't know how many copies of those things I need. Jesse already has all the ones he needs, of course. Come on! Where's the Pegasus? Crystal Promise? Well, I needed that, I guess. Maybe? I think you only want to run that at, like, one or two. This pack is just multiple characters that were introduced with Jesse. Yeah, the pack can't... Oh, I got that thing. The pack can't just be uh, Crystal Beast, otherwise there's not enough cards to put in it. I got that thing. Getting more Venoms than Crystal Beast, though. Oh, Crystal Abundance. I mean, I could put one in. When this card works, it really works. You have to admit. Mm, yeah, this is the one that can win, right? Let's see. When this card is destroyed... Blah, 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 blah. Battle damage your opponent. Place one Hyper Venom counter. When three Hyper Venom counters are on this card, you win the duel. Now, I don't know how much support Venoms have gotten over the years, but... This is still really bad, right? Like, you're never going to make this happen. Like, any strategy that could let you get this monster on the field and in a position to attack, it's already going to win the duel and through damage anyway. Yes, it's terrible, terrible, okay. Let me get at least one Pegasus, come on. Five more packs. Just let me have a, another Pegasus to start. Oh, there's another promise. Another promise. Is Pegasus an Ultra? I actually don't know. Uh, Mad Reloader. It is. Of course it's frickin' Ultra. They're gonna make me pay up the wazoo to get that going, aren't they? Okay, let's tag duel you boys. Gotta break up the pack opening a little bit. The most important card of the archetype. Of course, it's got to be an ultra rare. The one you got to run at, if you need to run it at three, then you better believe it's going to be be the one that makes you open the most boosters. Hello, friend. Welcome to stream. Okay, you only got that. I think we're pretty well off then. I can just send this. And I suppose I could just go and try and poke him with Luster Dragon now. Assuming nothing bad is happening. I don't even I don't have 20k GP. Even if I did, I wouldn't be giving it to that dude. That random dude who just showed up on the on the map there wanted to borrow 20k dual points, and I don't know why. Wall of Illusion. Oh, that's lame. Well, Jesse's stealing my monster, and now the turtle gets to poke. I pretty much need to buy the, uh, the Crystal Beast pack for one card now. I have, like, over 90% completion. Maybe I should just, like, skip the pack opening animations altogether. Um... Do I want to do that? I could set these, but yeah, we don't need to do that yet, I think. I will set this, though, in case Jesse can flip it up. Seventeen. I remember trying to use the lab in Tag Force 1. The problem with it is that it's slow as hell. It takes literally forever to dump enough cards into it just to, like, get one thing back, maybe. I didn't even want to bother with it after once. 
Perfect. 1900. It looks like we're about to win this. The turtle is going to finish him off. Uh oh. Not Wall of Illusion. Darn. That still counts as an attack, even though you have to replay. Interesting. I didn't realize that was a ruling for a re for attack replay. It still counts that you declared an attack, so Turtle can activate his effect to go into defense mode. Hmm. Well, there's nothing to do except attack him. Pretty much one. Hey, you did it. Now, how much does it cost to buy so much? 700 points for a duel is pretty good. Because everyone's decks leveled up, we get to, uh, we get more duel points out of it. Come on, Dorothy. Is there, like, a button to buy the whole box? I don't actually know. Oh. If I hold down R button, it lifts them all up, and then I guess, I guess I just press A like this? Jeez. Oh, oh, I can buy the sealed box like that. You know what? Fine. I'll buy the whole box. And we'll skip the opening animations to just check the list. Because I already have most of the cards in this set anyway. Open all packs. Snake Rain, please have Pegasus. I got four copies of uh, Mammoth throughout all that. Okay, the number on the right is the one I have in my trunk. The number on the card itself on the left there is the one I pulled. Volcanic, Crystal Raigeki, Cloudian, More Eagles, who cares? Volcanic Rat. Oh, two copies of Rainbow Dragon. Yeah, that that's what I wanted. Cool. Can I have my Pegasus? Crystal Beacon. Okay, two or more. There's a lot of Crystal Beast cards that are Ultra. Oh my god. I got more Tortoise, but I already had enough. Come on, please tell me I got a Pegasus. Rare value. I guess I needed that. Another cat. No, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. <sighs> Give me the box. I will buy one more box, and if there isn't a Sapphire Pegasus in this, I'm 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 gonna rage quit. Sapphire Pegasus, Sapphire Pegasus. Come on. I got another Crystal Abundance. Cat. Come on. Oh, I got my own Rainbow Ruins. That's good. Nope, I didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't get it. Okay, let's go. I don't want to spend all my money on this right now. We got it. We got... We lost the gamble. We're going to move on. Take it like a chump. It's fine. Buy the shipping container. This is getting too real. Buying a whole box and not getting the card you actually wanted. At least it's with fake Yu-Gi-Oh money. I got two Rainbow Dragons, but I can't... Hang on. Let me see how many copies of Pegasus I have. I think I only have one. Save Scumming's a little bit lame. I don't want to do that. Okay, Crystal Beast. Just go down to CR. Crystal Beast Pegasus. I have literally just one. I need two copies of it to make the deck work, for sure. Uh, I did just make a save. Yes, I did. Okay. Now, there should be a new event on the overworld tomorrow morning, because we got Jesse to another heart. Jim was right. Adrian does disappear to do research on the island. Let's go talk to Adrian. Maybe this all has something to do with the dis duels. Dis- oh, disciplinary duels or some crap. Call them dis duels. Let's go have a look. The abandoned dorm. Hmm. Huh? Is that Princeton and Adrian? The eldest son of the Gecko group, and me, the third son of the Princeton group. 
But groups don't matter in a duel. The only thing that matters is your own strength. And I'm about to show you mine. Duel me. Sure, I'll take that challenge. Whoa, wait a sec. Adrian, I have something to ask you. You know something about the strange power of the bio band, don't you? Jesse, what is your problem? Don't butt into other people's fights. And if I did, I knew it. If you know something, tell me, Adrian. Not exactly easy to explain, you know? Whoa, what are you guys doing dueling in a dangerous place like this? Does it matter? Besides, you're poking your nose into other people's business. Anyway, since I can't explain it, why don't I just show you? Let's duel, Jesse. Princeton, sorry, but do you mind being my tag partner for this duel? What? I came here to duel you. Come on, Princeton. I need to find out what he knows in order to stop the dis duels. Princeton. Hmm. Just this once. If you guys want to see the Chaz duel so badly. But after this, we duel one on one, Adrian. So, Jesse, you'll be dueling with Asprey. You better believe it. I can't lose when I'm with Asprey. Don't forget who I am, you dorks. He's the Chaz! I'll show you in this duel exactly why the Chaz is the best. Let's do this, Asprey. I love how, for the translation, they keep in things like calling him the, the Chaz so nonchalantly, but a lot of the times characters refer to each other by their last names only, like they do in the Japanese version, but because the dub doesn't do that, it sounds so weird when people call them, like, Princeton and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Or when they refer to Bastion as just Misawa. Okay, let's do it. He's the Chaz! Chaz it up! Let's go. Ring of Destruction! Bro, we just started! Chill out. Hmm... Do I MST negate? Uh... <laughs> destroy one card your opponent controls, no. Can't do that. It ain't gonna negate. Let's put it back there. Yo, know, I wonder. Do, do modern Crystal Beast cards... Is there any kind of, like, Pendulum stuff for it? Or would... Pe making Pendulum Crystal Beast cards just, like, clog the back row to an absurd rate, wouldn't it? Let's see. I could just put down Dust Tornado. Or just could go with this. I think I'll Sonic Duck. The best Crystal Beast cards are Pendulum Monsters, really. Were they made before or after the Master Rule made the Pendulum Zones in the back row? Because I remember that Pendulums were originally... They had their own zone in, like, the, the side here, right? And then they got moved them down to here to kind of, like, balance them. It was before. Did they get massively nerfed because of the change? Um, let's just attack. Nope, don't need to do that. Cloudy and Sheep Cloud. You summon cloud tokens. Neato. Now do it. Oh, by the way, chat, I forgot to mention. Um, when I was, like, shopping earlier today, I actually, like, GameStop started carrying, like, those Gundam model kits, and honestly, I bought one. So now I'm going to try and make one, build one of those if I can. There we go. I thought that would be a neat thing to try. Let me see. Nope. Crystal Beacon. Yay! I'll probably... I hope my big hands don't break the parts. I always get worried about that. I was doing jigsaw puzzles, but I don't have the physical room to really do much of those anymore. So maybe I could do that. I need more hobbies to do that don't involve staring at a screen all day. Arm Dragon level 3. Boop that baby. Nice but expensive. I play card games. You're surprised? I can afford whatever hobby I want. I'm a YouTuber. Didn't you hear? This uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! VOD is doing so well, it gives me 50 kajillion dollars. 
Um, I guess it really doesn't matter. We win. Let's boop him with the carbuncles first for insults. Perfect. I'm a YouTuber, so sometimes I just sit around with all these bags of money just wondering what I need to spend it on. It's a serious problem we all have. Perfect. Uh, do as much, much damage as possible. You win. Just do a Scrooge McDuck and go swimming in it. Hey, Asprey, we did it. My energy has been drained, but it's not life-threatening. Oh, my strength. Asprey, are you okay? Is everyone all right? Well, a promise is a promise. Tell us what you know, Adrian. Fine, I'll tell you. Besides, I'm not your enemy. And anyway, I don't think the info I have will change much. After a duel, both duelist energy is drained. It's the strength of a magnetic pulse that controls how much is drained. You're right. When the pulse is strong, it drains you more. And the person behind it all is most likely Professor Thelonious Viper. What? Adrian, is that true? It is. Plus, it looks like he's gone missing again. Professor Thelonious Viper. I wonder what he's up to. Come on, everyone. Let's all look for Professor Thelonious Viper. Stop saying his full name and title like that. That's weird. What is the meaning of all this? This is Bioband. I gotta get this thing off me, but it won't come off. I'm tired. That's it. I'm going back. Next time we duel one-on-one, -on -one, Adrian. He's right. We should all go and get some rest. Asprey, sorry for getting you involved in such a dangerous duel. Let's go. Well, that's the event, it seems. I guess I could go to the store. Oh, no, it's class time. We skipped class to do that event. You guys are hanging around. Queen's Era. Massed army. Down the hall. We could do a tag duel with you guys, get over the 10k mark, and maybe try and get another Pegasus. They're very upset right now. First to go, second to go. Ow, my arms hurt. <laughs> They're still sore. The burn from the gym. Excellent. What was I talking about before the story stuff? Oh yeah, be having lots of money and not knowing what to spend it on. Yeah, chat, I just didn't know what to do. I need to spend it on something. What am I gonna do? Give it away? First 10 people to DM me get $50 billion just because I'm so generous. You see. Yeah, I'll do this. Doesn't matter much. One day I will have multiple copies of Pegasus. You'll see. Grand Tiki Elder. Perfect. If I had comical amounts of just cash hanging around, I'd probably just give a bunch to my mom or something. Let's do that. The money could go to the teddies? No, 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 the teddies are fine with the bare essentials. See what I did there? Ah. Uh -huh. He's paying the wall of light. Hmm. Talked about uh, finding hobbies that didn't involve, involve being stuck in a screen all day. That's kind of hard to do. Because it's like everything is just... I don't like... Tra I don't like traveling out downtown to do stuff. It takes too long. I'd rather do everything in my house if I could. Um... Can't attack. I guess I can set this and see if Jesse will do something with it, but... For now, we're kind of stuck, aren't we? Because the wall... Destiny draw. Insect Princess. W w sorry, what is that card? Look at that art. <laughs> Insect Girl. What is the butterfly wings? No, that's her bow. Those aren't actually her wings. They're on the back of her head like a bow. While this card is face up on the field, battle positions of all insect-type monsters in your opponent's side of the field are changed to attack position. 
Each time this card destroys an insect type monster, increase the attack of this card by 500 points. Okay. So when your opponent's monsters see it, they're so disgusted they need to kill her. Even the insect queen got waifu'd. Hold up. Hit her with the shadow spell. Swords revealing light? Oh, like you needed that. Jesse did nothing. Get the bug spray. There's nothing I can do. I need that space open to destroy the back row. I need to draw into, like, Heavy Storm or something now. Oh, that's fantastic. This is a little bit silly. Oh, hang on. This'll work. He's not gonna be able to pay the life points to activate it again, either. Say goodbye to the eagle. Perfect. Send it back. All right, now destroy the bug lady. One thousand. Ooh, so sorry. I probably should have threw down United We Stand, but it would be really bad if he flipped up a card and then my back row was blocked. Bombardment Beetle. Oh no, anything but that. Stop. The Insect Princess is back? No. Hold up. Oh wait, no! Hang on, it's Tiger. Oh, and it's already buffed from the forest. I literally... That's exactly enough to still beat over. <laughs> you see. Imagine I took out Insect Spray, killed the, uh, the princess with it, and it was like, you just got Pika sprayed. Epic prank. That sounds like some fan art that someone should draw. Alright, well, there goes this. I guess I didn't have enough to beat over anyway because of this thing. Mask of Weakness, yeah. Ah, I can't put this down now. That's annoying. We can always just back to square one. Hmm. Jesse should be able to hit it now. Jesse could probably just use it too. Yeah, we're fine. I'll let him do it. Perfect, okay, good. DNA surgery! Uh-oh, we're all turning into insects. He's got his Pegasus. Crystal Beacon. Half the time, I don't even know the difference between Jesse's back row spells. He just plays them and stuff happens, and I trust that his AI knows what they're doing. <laughs> I know, I can't believe it either. Sorry, that laugh was a little a little too hearty there. It peaked the microphone. 646. I lost. Boy, you're good. Let's duel again. We did it. Well, time to get more stuff. Jesse just casually flexing the fact his, like, three Crystal Beast Pegasus. This is why no one else plays Crystal Beast, because they can't pull the cards they need for it. Okay, there's brown, reason to live. I want to beat you. Let's do that. Let's do it. In the anime, only Jesse has them. You know what the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime never shows? And I'm pretty sure it's probably like a legal thing. There's never been an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! where everyone just sits around opening packs of cards, hoping to get what they want. I'm pretty sure they, like, technically can't show that for some reason. I remember reading that somewhere. Everyone just always has the cards they need to build the deck they want. For the most part. There's, like, one scene I can think of where Joey opens a couple card packs to make a, a, a quick deck to... Duel Duke Devlin, I think it was. Or they just buy singles, yeah.
I mean like, I don't mean like a single pack. I mean like just buying a bunch of packs or even opening a box being like, ooh, can I get the card I want? Or some crap like that. Hmm. A little stretch, hang on. Canonically, they're born with their archetypes complete. <laughs> yeah, they can't afford it. Hmm. Because I know that for, like, at least the English dub, you know how Yu-Gi-Oh cards had to be, like, edited to, like, have uh, only the picture and the color of the card present? Like, that was actually, like, an American television rule that the cards couldn't look too close to how they actually did in the, uh, uh, as the real cards because then it would count as a more of a commercial. So they had to edit the cards to not have, like, the card text on them or the attack points written. Let's see, let me just put this down for now. Really could just hammer shot this, but I could also easily beat over it too, so it's not a big deal. In fact, if you watch the Yu-Gi-Oh movie, like the English dub of it, four kids actually didn't have to follow that rule anymore because it was a movie and not a TV show. So they actually edited all the cards to look like their English version counterparts. There's a part where Kaiba's is looking at his blue eyes and it just has like the English blue eyes, like vanilla card text and everything. It's actually kind of cool to look at. Yeah, so as much as we all don't like four kids, when it came to like the Yu-Gi-Oh card edits, they legally had to do that. <laughs> like they weren't allowed. Even if they didn't make the show four kids instead of teens. There we go. All right, he summoned the Wind Charmer. Now we're gonna banish her to the Abyss where she'll fall forever screaming. Ain't that kind of messed up? Nope, oh, she's banished now. Let's go. Rare value. He's trading his cards. Hit him. Not win. There's no wind in the abyss. Golly, that's dark. Oh, and now you get banished too. What even is the banish zone in Yu-Gi-Oh card lore? Because there is an archetype for a different dimension, which implies that they go to a different dimension when cards are banished, but... Could it be anything? Are there multiple different dimensions? I mean, if you think about it, Yu-Gi-Oh is kind of like more than one dimension. Because, you know, you don't really look at a lot of monsters and think they're in the same universe. You see. Like, isn't that one archetype Vendred's literally just a zombie apocalypse universe? I don't think the other archetypes really fit into that. Let's duel again. Excellent. I know some are related, but others are just kind of like not. And then other ones are just like Dark Ruler of Darkness. And he's a five-star monster. Have we dueled? Yeah, we've dueled. Fate D. Hmm. I mean, originally it was removed from play, but it became the Banished Zone once they started making it a mechanic. Which is really funny to think about. Banishing was literally just like, no, the card is removed from play, and then it became... Actually, the removed from play pile kind of is still in play, because you can do stuff with it. Revolution, Kenyo, Old Turtle, Yushin Utopia. Nothing over here. That's the case. We'll duel you guys. Tag duel. Removed from play became graveyard too. No, I mean like when Yu-Gi-Oh was really, really in the early days. When something was removed from play, the entire point of it was that you couldn't interact with the card anymore. Like you couldn't revive it, you couldn't do anything. And then suddenly they made cards where it's like, actually, you can bring those back now. And then it became like a, diff a whole different thing as it went on.
Yeah, now the banish pile is the graveyard, and the graveyard is your second hand. <laughs> and then they had to introduce banishing cards face down. Yeah. If a card is banished face down, that means you can't bring it back, so that's banish banished. Yu-Gi-Oh! is so funny sometimes, because sometimes you look at the rules, and then you realize there's like five sticky notes attached to it being like, actually, in the case of this... They made a real banish pile. That's part of the banish pile. We'll set that. Hmm. So we immediately stole our monster, which is annoying as heck. Hmm. Double banished. There currently is no way to interact with banish face down cards, right? Or is there still a way to do that? I don't actually know. Hmm. Hang on, how much attack points did I have? A thousand, so you know what I could do. I'll do that. He'll bump his back row up for some reason. I don't need to use United We Stand yet. Let's do this. I could have waited to catapult the Pegasus back, but I didn't care. No! Well, whatever. Uh, face down banished cards can be brought back still. Okay. Well, one more back row and we get a Hamilton. Uh-oh. Not giant turtle who feeds on flames. This is one of the best cards ever. It's a five-star monster with 1,400 attack. The giant turtle who feeds on flames. Its description is a crimson shell tortoise that feeds on flames. Now, chat... Call me crazy, but I think this turtle might like eating flames. Let's bump it back to the hand. This card tells me that it was like 4 a.m. at the office and someone really wanted to go home and they had to give this thing a name. Royal Decree? Damn you. Write that down, write that down. That's some sick Yu-Gi-Oh card lore right there. This is why old Yu-Gi-Oh cards are basically this. It's like five-star monster with like, it, yeah, it's a it's a big turtle, and it's like some generic fantasy monster that someone probably doodled in like two, 20 minutes. <laughs> Salvage. Okay. Well, well, well. What do we have here? So we probably just salvaged and put down something there. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna set Lightning Vortex for Jesse to use. We don't need to use United We Stand. Mirror Force has been used up. Break that, and we'll end the turn. Is Gi was Giant Turtle one of the cards made before Tribute Mechanics? Because that... I'm still not really clear on how that worked, but... It was like the earliest version of Yu-Gi-Oh! There was no Tribute Mechanics in, in Japan, right? And they had to add that because it made... It just made the game too simple. Or something like that. The star rating used to just be like a suggestion of power, but it was kind of meaningless, doesn't it? Which is really weird when you think about it because like shouldn't it just instead of a level shouldn't they just put something like you know uh requires one tribute the actual stars didn't start to matter until like synchro summons were a thing mm. do i want to unite we stand i'm still worried about just like losing my monsters so i don't want to waste it I know I can beat over him, so let's wait. Kaiba can just throw down his blue eyes for free. That's how, you know, old Yu-Gi-Oh was pay to win. Oh, that's right. Levels were important for ritual monsters, I guess, but let's be real. Ritual monsters weren't very important. I spend three cards to summon one monster that has no protection whatsoever. Okay, put that down. I may have no room, but it's okay. 
Yeah, I love how they introduce tribute summoning in the, the anime. It's like in the Joey duel, Joey just goes ahead and summons like his monster illegally. And I think it's like Esperoba is just like, hey, you can't do that. That's against Kaiba Corp's new rule. And he's like, what? You have to tribute now? And everyone just does it as if like it, Joey's just like completely stupid for not thinking that. And it's like, what do you mean there's a new rule? Oh! <sighs> I'm an... Darn it. I thought he had a monster still on the side there. Oops. I thought he had summoned his thing. Well, that's on my... That's on me. I lost my monster for free. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Now I can crash into... Wait, what? It didn't work? Hold up. Destroy... Oh, it made it miss timing? Is that what just happened? Hold up. Because Grizzly's effect... Oh, Royal Decree. Never mind. Never mind. I totally forgot this was here. Dude, I... I'm forgetting what's on the damn field right now. I wasn't expecting too much going on with this guy's deck, and I'm just loving it. Uh, yeah, I meant to do that, guys. I just needed to fill- I just needed to open up a spot in my back row. I don't know what you're talking about. This was all just a- all part of my plan. Hmm. can end turn and do this, actually, so let's- No, I can't because of that. Damn it, never mind. Royal Decree. You know what? I think I'll just give up Hamilton. All right, Jesse, you get him on your turn. Yeah, I can't flip that up because of Royal Decree. Duelist Kingdom was weird, but we all we're all nostalgic for it. I still genuinely look forward to going back to Falsebound Kingdom. I still plan to do it. Don't worry. In the manga, the new rules were explained before that duel happened. Okay. Hmm, I can summon you. And then I guess, yeah, this would be a good time to use United We Stand now. Do this. Kamakiri. Hmm. Unfortunately, I won't be able to beat over Turtle unless I put this on the Tiger. Or anyone, really, but you know what I mean. Let's do it! Nope. We can't flip those up because Royal Decree's in the back row. I hope this isn't another Turtle. Sangan. That's annoying. Marshmallow. Oh, you disgusting piece of garbage. I want Marshmallon. Okay. Did we go over which pack has Marshmallon? I don't know if I can get it. Maybe it's in the Sadie pack. That would be very good to put in my deck. I think I wanted to do it in my the Tag Force 1 deck, but I couldn't get it for some reason. Oh, boy. Oops. All right, Jesse's got a loaded hand. He can do it. Oh, he didn't summon anything. Well, that was easy then. Damn. 10-13. Looks like I leveled up again. Sick. Nice, new hearts available. We could try buying sandwiches. Let's see if we can get the gold sandwich. Wow, they got... Oh, hang on. Sadie's working... Is it random? Dude, I thought that she only worked the weekends. At least that's what it seemed like last time. Hell yeah, let's buy some burn cards. Oh, you know what I just realized? We could get the fire spirit on the cover here. Is it an ultra? Ah, oh, dude. Let's buy five of these. I don't want to buy the box. It's more fun to open some at first. 
and we'll buy boxes in a second. But first, let's check this. Little Chimera. Oh, the Fire Monarch right away. Great Angus. King Pyron. Fire deck wouldn't be bad, honestly, but... Getting the burn card on the field would be good. Come on. I can't remember its name. What's the name of the monster on the pack? And of Neptis. There we go. Another poison mummy. Solar Flare Dragon, that's right. And, and it is Ultra. Damn. Catapult Turtle? Sick. But we're not going to use it, probably. Hinotama. Hmm. Okay. No wrong thing. Give me the card, Sadie. That's a lot of cheddar right there. Okay, let's take a look. Got Mass Driver. More Catapult Turtles. During each of your standby phases, 600 points to life, or life point damage your opponents. See, this thing's not going to stay alive long enough for that to matter. The toll's not going to be much of a deterrent. If they can, if the AI can pay the cost, they will pay the cost. Oh, Thorn. When your opponent's cards in their hand are discarded to the graveyard, 500 damage to your life points for each card. Now, this can combo if I go all in with Needleworm, but a lot of times this could potentially be a brick as well. Continuous as well, so it's not worth the back row, I feel. Castle Gates, Tremendous Fire, Elephant Statue, Mask of Accursed. Hmm. Now, this one isn't bad either, but here's the point. The monster can't attack, and I'm just basically... I'm basically just taking their toll damage with this. We gotta have the Teddy Toll, not the Teddy Mask. Attack and receive, Curse of Darkness, Destruction Ring. Destroy a face-up monster near your side of the field, inflict the best points damage to both players' life points. No thank you. Cemetery Bomb. Depends on how much discard is going. Ukazi. Uh, Dark Snake Syndrome. See, if I had more copies of Death's Wombat, this would be, like, a sick idea to go for. More Skull Invitations, Token Festival, Amoeba. Oh, oh, that's good. That's real good. This card was, like, New Game Plus 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 in Tag Force 1, wasn't it? That's why I couldn't get it? Yeah, when it's... Uh, hang on. When this card is flipped, summon, inflict a thousand damage to your opponents. That's good. Problem is, I mean, it has decent enough defense points, but odds are people will probably be able to beat over it. You know, maybe the mask would be an okay thing to run if I had three copies of Stealth Bird, but the problem is it's, um, oh, two giant germs. I have three now. I have three germs. Chat, I'm about to cough on over everything. This is good. This is so good. Uh, coffins. Oh, more just desserts. Oh, ceasefire. Uh, we don't really need that, though, for most opponents. Okay, that's good. This is real good. Um, the big ones we need to put in, Giant Germ and Stealth Bird. Let's put them in right now, why don't we? We're gonna make that Teddy deck super strong. I didn't edit the deck at all, so we can switch without saving. If I could get Marshmallow, that'd be sick from that, yeah. Take that teddy bear toll. Okay, so 40 cards in the deck. What needs, uh... I'm starting to wonder how good Skull Invitation really is for this. What do you think? L let's put them in first while we do this. First, let me go down to S for Stealth Bird. I'm not going to bother sorting them, I know. What's wrong with me? Um... Stealth bird, stealth bird, where are ya? Stealth bird, stealth bird, where the heck are is my stealth bird? Oh, there it is. I forgot that would be flashing new. And, right, giant germ. Let's see. Effect monster, go up to G. 
giant germ giant now ah, there it is okay we want to run this thing at three hmm now chat hmm in your professional opinion what do you think should go do we really need princess i like princess is good but i feel like she's more reliant on how many cards the opponent sets right i feel like creature swap doesn't do anything in this deck though i gotta be honest maybe yomi ship doesn't need to be i don't think i need hamilton either i feel like this is kind of just a yolo maybe i'll keep it in actually the tur- you're right, I forgot. We put the turtles in as a last-ditch effort thing, didn't we? Because I couldn't think of what else to put in. Either way, we're at 40 now. Checking the card frame. We definitely- it looks like we got more spells and traps. Penguin is needed- Oh, you know what I, f I, I forgot about? We got Nightmare Penguin last time, remember? Jesse gave me that random pack for it. So let me go ahead and, um... Hang on a second. Nightmare Penguin. Where is that? I see it. Now then. Burning Land doesn't need to be at three either. I have to agree. Yomi Ship is something that's good, but it's not the end all be all. Hmm. It's looking good. Just Desserts is a pretty good way to finish the opponent. Like Princess, it's dependent on the on um, how many cards they're playing, but Princess um, dies easily, and she has to be attacked into for her effect to go off. I only have two Chain Energies right now. Forget the Crystals. We're having better luck buying Sadie's pack. I'll buy one more box, and that's it for now. Look at that, the whole box. 4,000! I can't even afford another box. This better be good. Okay, I got six copies of Sparks. Okay, then. Attack and receive. This is the last thing we're... Oh, I got another copy of Koala. That's gonna go in. Write that down, write that down. Cemetery Bomb, Token Festival, Castle Gate, Tremendous Fire... Uh, it doesn't matter. I only need, can only put in one. Um, more Dark Snake Syndrome, but I need Wombats for that. Oh. Hang on. Uh, yeah, I can do this. Each time damage except battle damage inflicts your opponent's life points and for 300 points of damage. Uh, yeah, okay. Put that in. Marshmallow is in the fairy pack, but it's an ultra rare. Okay, I could try and go for that. That's all I got, really? Really, 4,000 DP and all I got was Dark Room of Nightmare and um, another Koala. Well, okay, then. Hang on. Fairy pack, I don't have a lot of these. You know what? Buy the rest of this box and we'll see if they have it. No, no, no. Gimme Marshmallow. Oh, hey, Kelbeck, how's it going? Multiple copies of that. Hourglass of Courage. I got Marshmallow glasses. Oh, whoopee. Shinato, King of a Higher Plane. Keldeo, Spirit of the Harp. That's a Reshef card right there. Look at that crap. Agent of Judgment. Moisture creature. Look at that. Mystical Shine Ball. Amazing. Celestial Transformation. Goddess of Armpit. Uh, Shinato's Ark. Shining Abyss. That's it. Well, ah, whatever. 78%. Hmm. Well, we gotta get more DP now pretty good. I could buy one sandwich for now, too. We got some points left over. Too bad it's late and Sandy probably won't be here tomorrow. 
spicy fish egg sandwich. That doesn't look like fish eggs. That looks like a sausage there. Okay, one more sandwich, and then it's back to the grind. Yep, I'll put them in the burn deck in a second. No gold sandwich? Damn. Tomato. Okay, Koala and Dark Room of Nightmare. Go ahead and sort by card frame. Go down to effect monsters. Uh, okay, Dark... No, sorry, it was in D for Des Koala, right? Um, taking a look, taking a look, taking a look. I don't see its art in the thumbnails anywhere. Oh, I see it. And now we go down the spells and go to Dark Room of Nightmare. What do you think should be taken out, chat? In your professional opinions, what could we run? Hamilton needs to be in there for the memes, as far as I'm concerned. Do you think we could take out the two copies of Princess? Like, come on. I like the princess, but... Mm. What about Yomi Ship? Do I really need Yomi Ship? It doesn't have the defense. It just kind of pops a monster for free. Princess is good. I want to keep her. We got to cut two cards from the deck. What should we go with? Maybe one toll. How dare you? Are you trying to put that bear out of work? You can't tell me to take toll out of Teddy Toll. Poison Mummy is worse koala. I mean, yeah, but Poison Mummy is pretty rad. Hmm. Princess is mandatory to put her in the thumbnails. I don't think anybody's, like, clicking on the thumbnails with, with this card being their waifu. One Skull Invitation. You think two Skull Invitations is enough? Yeah, I, I can see that. Like, you know, with Dark Room of Nightmare, Skull Invitation it can become more of a burn the opponent more. I'll take one out, but what about the rest of it? Hmm. What about Dust Tornado? Do I really need that? Well, I can't get MST, so couple of staples in here to stop the opponents. Hmm. I don't have all the, um, the needle worms. I know, I know, but needle worm is still cool. I could take out this now, since we have a bunch of more monsters to set. Because this one at least has the double battle damage one there. Let's take that out for now. All right, we'll, we'll try running this. Giant Germ is like, it thins the deck a little bit and gets more bodies to stall. Okay, I like this. We'll give this a try. Now we're going to try and grind some more points and burn. Now, did we duel these lads? Masked Army, Queen's Era, Down the Hall, Solar Assault, Queen's Era... Let's do a solo duel against you. Hamilton in the burn deck? Well, it's because we can summon it if we have three um, continuous spells on the field. And we can... And it's, and it's meme-worthy. It's fun! You like fun, don't you? He's plan B. Or uh, the B might stand for brick, though, sometimes. Ooh, we got germs. Remember, when it's sent to the grave, it result to battle, inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent, and then we can summon the other germs. That germ is super giant. Okay, we'll set you. Hmm. And then we activate the toll. Get ready to pay the toll, buddy. The forest, it's gonna burn down. Giant flea! He's paying it. Five hundred points of damage, bro. Yes. Them being in attack mode can be a bit of a problem, but in situations like this, we're mostly safe. 
If they want to beat them, they're going to take more damage to beat over. Okay. So now we can go ahead and set this. And now we can summon Toll Times 2. Imagine you cross the bridge. That little bear demands all your money. And then immediately, bam, another bridge. You pay up, sucker. Just desserts isn't needed yet. I love this. The opponent's monsters is just, why do I have to pay 10 billion life points to stay alive? It's like, welcome to reality. Now you have to suffer through it too. Did he summon the insect girl again? He did. I kind of want to need, I, I need to see a clear image of this card's art. Like, I don't know what I'm looking at. It's, it's a little blurry on the PSP. Like, what is that outfit? Is it even an outfit? Here we go. So far, 3,000 points of damage burned to you. It costs 1,000 life points to attack. Pay up, sucker. You have to pay to get past the first gate, but the sec on the second, it's an unaffiliated toll gate. Absolutely. Opponent has declared battle. Oh, hang on. You got a picture of it? Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it looks like she's wearing glasses with the insect eyes. Um, that is that armor or I, I can't quite tell. Jeez. Well, whatever. Yeah, you can't quite tell, but like uh, her eyes are like bug eyes, but they almost kind of look like goggles. Let me see. Wait, yeah, she does have four arms. I couldn't quite tell from the uh, this art here. It's too blurry. Anyways, we can we can save just desserts. Ooh, nice skull invitation, and I can put wombat down. Uh, hold up a second. No, wombat is not going to be able to do that. Sadly. Hmm. I better I better just let them attack into the germ right now, shouldn't I? Pay up. I love how the skull invitation looks like it's holding out its hand, like he's collecting his own toll as well. First you pay the, the teddy toll, then you play the skelly toll. Swarm of scarabs! Bears are running for the hills. Not yet. Oh, another insect princess. Wait, did she, was she a five star? Oh, she's a six star. I thought she was a four star monster this whole time. No wonder I've never seen her before. Not yet, not yet. I'm getting an attack now. I should have put it face down after all, huh? Burn ya. And I win. Watch this. Oh, this is so scummy. <laughs> I love this crap. First you get set on fire, and then I just keep throwing more gasoline on you. I got 666 for the burn win. That's hilarious. I I didn't script that. What I do? Duelist bonus, opponent's turn finish. Level bonus, exactly. Evil deck. Evil. I lost. Guess I need more practice. Okay, now let's try the mask guy. Let's go solo burn against him. Should I try burning Mindy? I feel like that could blow up in my face because of how her deck works. Hydrate? Don't mind if I do. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, Legacy of the Duelist takes forever to open cards. I still want to do some challenge deck runs for Legacy. I was thinking of make it, like making Joey Joey Wheeler's um Duelist Kingdom crappy deck and then just messing around with that. Okay, this thing can't beat over Stealth Bird. This will be a good chance to do this. It's better to use Stealth Bird when I have the option of stalling though, because I have to flip summon it, not flip it up to do the damage. Hmm. Better to start with Koala when there's a loaded hand. And then we'll activate Burning Lands. Let's do it. 
38 monsters and then sword and shield with kunai and with chain. Heck yeah. Ooh, so sorry. The koala just like slaps you and bam, you're burned. Ooh, more cards to bounce after I have koala, uh, koala in hand. I don't have much of my back row, but I can defend for now. Do I want to bounce first, actually? Because what if they tribute? That hardly matters since he's got the ritual monster, but if I draw my other koala, it'd be good. They can't beat over stealth birds, so I mean, I, uh, I can't really do that. I want to see if I can get away with it eventually, so we'll do that first. We'll do this first. Bouncing is better after tribute. Yeah, I know what you mean. So just let them tribute first if they can. Oh, yep, yeah, I called it. Here comes the ritual. Well then. Never mind. Really wish I put the penguin down now. Really, really wish I put down that penguin. Okay, I ate one attack though. Oh, wait, what? Okay, we're good. We're good. I just need to set Penguin, uh, Penguin Soldier, and we're good. Hmm. Now, if I activate this... I can flip summon it for a thousand. Okay, that's good to know. I can do it the same turn, but there's no point doing that right yet. What we want to do is use Penguin Soldier to bounce all the monsters that can beat over it. And you probably want to attack into it right now. Will they keep attacking it, or will the AI know what it is and leave it alone? That's what I want to find out. How stupid is the AI for it? Alright. You cancelled, you're on fire. Okay, Penguin Soldier flipped. Yes. Bounce you. And I guess bounce you. And will they attack it? No, they won't. Which means I can flip summon, activate the effect, and then just put it right back down, right? Oh, this is going to be disgusting. I got to run this thing at three now. Okay, I am drawing no back row except Burning Land. Oh, this is really bad. Bad shuffle. Uh, I guess, uh, I guess for now I can set this this turn. Because we're going to attack into this and they'll take double battle damage. Mask of Brutality. Uh-oh, that is a bit of a problem, actually. Now it's not. Okay, there goes my stealth burp. That's okay. Now we'll bounce. We'll set the penguin, and then we bounce you. And you can't. Then this will get destroyed. I'm doing pretty good considering I only drew one spell card. My God, we don't need wombat. Burning land is is just there. It's fine. It's helping. Stealth Bird plus Messenger of Peace. Ooh, that sounds disgusting. I like it. That would make... I'd have to build the... Um, if I run Stealth Bird at three, it'd be like I'd, I'm building the deck around it. But that's not a bad idea. Eventually, we could shift towards that. It would be a different burn deck than what we ran in Tag Force 1. He couldn't pay the cost, so we destroyed it. Well... Teddy Toll Stealth Burn. Heck yeah. Messenger of Peace doesn't work with Toll, though. That's right. I feel like you either need to run Toll or Messenger of Peace. You can't, it, they just don't synergize. Oh. Well, I've already won, but I can super win with this. Oh yeah, I still want to get Solar Flare Dragon. Solar Flare Dragon would actually work really well with Messenger of Peace. You're right. Just being on the field face up, passively burning the opponents. I like that. I'm gonna flip this. 
But yeah, if we do that, there's no point in running Toll anymore. We have to give up the memes. How could we do that? New high score bonus, which was number of cards returned to the hand. <laughs> really? Okay. It would have to be a completely different deck. No more Teddy Tolls. The bear is unemployed. What have we done? Toll bears would have to retire. I mean, we could still play Teddy Toll, but we could play a different burn deck as well. There's no reason we can't play both. Anyway, let's see what happens when I duel Mindy. Fine with me. I duel. The bird took his job. <laughs> oh no. New Yu-Gi-Oh card lore. Toll bear is unemployed because the stealth bird took it over. Unbelievable. Still, I, I like the sound of the Messenger of Peace. We could just make new lore. We can have an, a new emote where Teddy Ursa looks like, is dressed like the Messenger of Peace. The card art can show him shaking hands with Cleffas. Because why not? There's peace between the two tribes now. Anyway, we can do this. Peaceful bear. Pay the toll, buddy. Okay, that works for now. Messenger of Honey. Pay up, sucker. Oh, you're not gonna attack? Yeah, you're not. Hmm. That's the case. Let's start setting up the stealth bird. Giant rats! Ooh, so sorry. Take 300. Don't need to burn yet, but 2,000 damage is on the table. First, we'll activate the effect. Hmm. Don't want to flip summon it this turn. Attack is too weak. So for now, we'll do this. I've got you to refresh my hand if needed. Oh, that's right. Maybe it'll work this time. Oh, so sorry, Mindy. You thought you had a chance. You paid the toll, and there's nothing waiting for you there. And now, we go ahead and flip summon you. Chat, be real with me. If you had to sit and play against this deck, would you be really pissed off? I'm having fun. I, lo I love watching all, all the burn numbers just go burr. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Isn't it great? Now we'll throw down Burning Land. And I guess we can just set you for now for the flip here. Hmm. Hmm. No need to flip you up. Better to just let them attack into me. We've almost got her to half the burn damage. Excellent. Not yet. Use just desserts to go for the kill. She's not playing anything else. Mindy's trying to play stall, but she doesn't have uh, the cards she needs to stall with yet. Ooh, Wombat. Oh, wait, that's bad. Darn it. <laughs> the Wombat protects her. Hang on, I have an idea. Um, I just need to set Yomi ship and hope she attacks into it. No, if I put in attack mode, she'll definitely be dumb enough to attack into it. Hang on, Wombat can beat it over in defense mode. Drat can't. We'll do this. Yeah, we got this, we got this. Don't worry. Don't worry, I got a plan. Yeah, can't damage her because Wombat protects. Okay. But you still have to pay the cost. Wombat, or er, Toll isn't burn damage, so it's a it's a payment. So, yeah, Wombat will be dumb enough to attack that. And she's going to lose her Wombat. I win. I win. I love this garbage.
You lose, Mindy. She wanted to put. She wanted to stall me, but she couldn't stall me. Didn't do anything. Not bad. You're pretty good. Yeah, we did it. Let's keep it up. All right, Alexis. Uh, I'll duel. Everybody's getting burned. Everyone's getting singed by this powerful bear. She couldn't outstall me. Ooh, look at that. Actual back row this time. I got all three tolls? I have to, chat. You know I have to. I... We absolutely have to. Even if she heavy storms turn one, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You can't stop me. I don't care if it's the worst idea. Pay up. You're not getting by unless you pay the cost. Pay 1500 to do 1400 And now you gotta pay the finder's fee. going for it she has to pay I have more life points after this you have to pay more I'll have to throw away just desserts to play another spell though but I could use a monster that'd be nice oh my god seriously seriously oh I might be in trouble I'm still gonna have more life points go ahead <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, girl. <laughs> this is disgusting. Stonks. You need to pay 1500 if you want to inflict 1400 Look at that. The exchange has been won. Oh, good, a monster. Now let her summon one more, and then I can basically flip just desserts for game. Oh, wait, I can. I win. I literally won. <laughs> wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, wait, she can't afford the cost. I win! <laughs> Does it look like I deserve to win that? <laughs> Doesn't really feel like it, does it? I played one monster. This can't be. That's right, you lost because you're a loser. Let's do it again. Oops, not tag duel. All I did was play three copies of Toll, and I just stood there and watched. And then finished her off with, uh, just desserts. Gotta wash my hands after that duel. They're all covered with honey from handling that money during the Toll booth. Ooh, another full back row, except for Haman there. Okay, then. Could stop our monster with that. Set this. I'm worried about that heavy storm, but it's really funny if I just do this anyway. And if it's more funny, then we should do it. Flip up the skull invitation. Now she needs to pay to play literally any cards. No, not yet. She got her angel. Okay, don't have that many tolls, but that's okay. That's all she got. No need to flip up just desserts yet. Ooh, this combos well with chain energy, I have to say. Let's do it. I'm thinking it's gonna be fun. Woo! 
Ooh, this will be really funny now. Go ahead. Go ahead, Alexis. Pay the toll. Your opponent, nah, nah, nah. Skull Invitation activates, you take 300. We've got the life point lead, and now she has to pay to play more monsters. She's gonna get this thing's effect, but who cares? Darn it, I keep forgetting to hold down circle to skip that. Ooh, Dark Room of Nightmare. Hmm. See, this doesn't really work with Toll and Chain Energy because they are their payments. They're not they're not damage. Only Skull Invitation will stack more, so I don't need this yet. Problem is, she's gonna hit me for damage right now, and I kinda deserve it. <laughs> At least I have Bottomless in case she Ritual Summons. I don't have anything to defend with, so I'm in trouble. I could get down Hamilton by throwing it. Don't worry. Maybe next turn. But hang on. I am I was hoping to see if she could just play her ritual and I could just flip up that. Oh. This can also... Well... Let's just flip up just desserts. Put down the nightmare and then play Hamilton. This could blow up in my face, or I could just sit there and defend with it, because she has two face downs, right? If I get cylindered, it's all over. saying I have heavy storm just hit that then I lose my skull invitation whatever it's more fun to do this anyway yeah 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 900 fine we'll go for the optimal play There, I won like a good woman. Five, five, two. Ain't that disgusting. This can't be. No way. That's right, you lost. Well then. You certainly got points at least. Who was hanging around? Limited fun. Oh, that's Simon. Unknown chaos. Sure, why not? Let's duel you. Sure, I was bored anyway. He says he was bored, but he's just standing around here. First to go, second to go. You gotta pay that teddy toll. Ooh, look at that. We can set things on fire and play Chain Energy. I love that. So first we'll set this. Then we'll play two Burning Lands like a chump. You either burn fast or you burn up yourself. This is going to be gross. Turn one. Two Burning Land and Chain Energy. You want to make your move? Pay all those life points. Come on and get your uh, credit card on, apparently. Pay up, sucker. I still have not been punished for this. Oh, look at th this is terrible. He has to pay a thousand life points per card right now. <laughs> look at this. This is disgusting. I love it. This is the EA deck right here. Pay for it all. I gotta pay a little bit too, but that's okay. He needs to pay more if he wants to get around me. Yeah, 
Get burned. This is so evil. Oh no, he's gonna attack me, chat. He's gonna attack me, chat. Uh, I want him to attack into the mummy, actually, so this is fine. What do I do? Oh no! Well, turn's over. And now Burning Land. Uh, I don't know. I guess I'll just end my turn. And now he takes a thousand damage and he literally cannot play any cards. He literally cannot play the game anymore because he needs a thousand life points to play a card. Oh boy. What do I do? Sorry, my boy, but that's it. You lose. Ooh, 671. Not bad. I lost. Oh, then. Then we go to bed. You're not tired yet? I'm earning dual points pretty fast. Hey, came to get you. Bought this and I thought you might want a card. Or sorry, thought it might have a card you want. Rip it open. Arcana Force for the Emperor. Toy Emperor. Fossil Fusion. Neat. Uh, Mesozoic Fossil Knight Skull Knight. Cyber Angel Idaten. Okay. Bazoo. Ghost Knight. Mystic Swordsman 6. B-Swap. Okay. Got some Emperor stuff right there. Not bad. What are you two up to? Recovery Waltz. I can't even check the guy behind. Being released. Um, let's try the burn deck on you. Just because I want to, like, get a win against everyone who has a question mark, if I see. We still need more pieces of the deck. I mean, I don't feel like getting the copies of, um... Of, uh, Sapphire Pegasus right now, because this is more fun. And we have all the pieces we need. Meanwhile, I need to pull two freaking Ultra Rares from that. There we go! Two Skelly Invitations, I love it. Color Paranormal Monster becomes zero. Okay. I've got the toll. Can they beat over that thing, though? We'll have to find out. Better to bounce a penguin. Do I really want to throw in the two skelly invitations right away? Of course I do. It's fun. I love fun. Flip them. Flip them. Flip them. There's a party going on, and the skelly is handing out invitations. Premature burial. 800 points. He's bringing that thing back. He's summoning that thing too. 500. Ooh, so sorry, but that didn't work the way you wanted. Uh, I didn't want him to play premature burial again, so this is fine. Nice. Ooh, look at that. Look at that juicy back row right there. Doesn't look like you can beat over Stealth Bird, but that can always change. He's probably gonna summon that monster again, so you know what? I want Yomi Ship there to stop it and break it down. I think I'm the guy with the annoying deck, actually. Darn, he's attacking with that one. Hmm. Hold up. Let's see here. B -b 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 -b. Aha! Okay, let's just tornado the field spell. Oh. Well, you lose more life points, so I'm fine with that. 
Come on. I don't think there's other characters that are playing burn decks like this, no. Everybody's taking burn. Yomi ship. <sighs> I'm gonna take a chunk of damage now. I My plan was to destroy that damn field spell so his monster would go with it, but he negated it, so... I'm kind of just going to have to eat crap for that now. It's all up to the next draw. Um, I, I can work with this. I can work with this. He's going to beat over Stealth Bird, so if we swarm the field... Yeah, this should be okay. I can come back from this. Mindy's got Dark Snake Syndrome, which is a crusty burn attack, but... I may take Skull Invitation damage, but it's okay. Because I get bodies on the field now. And you take 500 damage. Of course, I take 600 from the um, Skull Invitations, but that's besides the point. I still have the lead. That's what matters. Ooh, okay, that'll help. He's going to beat over Stealth Bird. But I need a body on board, right? Do I set it and hope he goes for the germs instead? He probably won't, but I feel like I should set it anyway. Whatever. Yeah, okay, he went for it right away. I was hoping he'd hit the germs. I was hoping he'd summon more monsters so I can get to finish him with the... Finish him with, um... Yeah, the just desserts. Okay, there's a thousand right there. Ah, uh, the other toll. That would help speed up, and then I can finish him with the just desserts. This works. This works. Uh, no, 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 don't do that. Please, anything but that. Don't pay half your life points to stop a, a 500 burn. I think I just won. <laughs> yeah, I literally just won. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Good job, Dean. Look at that crap. 740. Nice. Can't believe it. Nicely done. We're getting a lot of dual points pretty nicely. Unknown Chaos. That was Simon. Nova. Oh, we haven't fought Nova's level 2 deck. This could be fun. You duel. Let's do it. Even the AI won't attack giant germ and face up if it doesn't have to. Oh, he's going second. Going first is very good for the burn. His favorite card in strategy is banned now, though, so we can't do it. Ooh, cylinder. Okay, we'll set this. We'll set that. Magic Cylinder helps stall if he can beat over a Stealth Bird as well. Yeah, he... This guy gave a crap ton of duel points when you beat him in Tag Force 1. So I, I beat him a lot, I remember. But his whole strategy was like Exchange of Spirit, I believe, so... And I think that's banned in this game, so now he just plays a different strat. Okay, take the burn, buddy. He's setting. Uh, that doesn't matter. In fact, that's good for me. He's gonna outstall me, huh? Macrocosmos. Uh-oh. Hold up. Any cards sent to the graveyard is removed from play instead. Okay, that doesn't combo well with Skull Invitation, obviously. Could get rid of that, but do I have to yet? Not really. Mm. Save the dust tornado. We don't know if we really need to stop something else. I'll save Morphing Jar as my last thing, so I can reset the hand. For now, we have Burning Land. I gotta hold down Circle, sorry. <clears throat> okay, pardon me. No Just Desserts. Poison Mummy. He's not attacking. 
That's okay. We will wait. Because we're good moomins. Oh, you're, you're right. I didn't flip Stealth Bird. Ah, darn it. I'm not used to doing that yet. My goodness. I totally f just forgot to do that. Now he's flipping Needle Worm and he banished my monsters. Darn it, don't do that. Okay, there's Mirror Force, but that doesn't even matter. Hang on. Flip the dang Stealth Bird. Do that. And then activate it, flip it down. Win out, yeah, win the burn. Hmm. Needle Worm doesn't matter. He's not gonna attack. That seems to be clear. I may as well just like reset my hand with Morphing Jar now. Next turn. I'd rather have the back row for other stuff. His strategy isn't to attack. I don't even need Mirror Force. I have Magic Cylinder anyway. Okay, we already flipped you. You're level four, so you... If I flipped you, you immediately go into defense mode anyway, but I'll save you when I need the damage. The bird is level three. Oh, wave motion cannon. I basically one have one now. But I couldn't beat over Needleworm's <laughs> attack points, but now it's in defense mode. We're gonna win the long con here. So first, we'll flip bird. Ah ha get it? Playing this deck really is uh, flipping that, ain't it? Take a thousand damage. And then we'll activate this. And I suppose I can just flip up Morphing Jar and then attack over uh, that thing. You know what? I think I will get rid of Macrocosmos. Why don't I? This is pissing me off. Nah, I don't need the set. Mirror Force is useless here. I'm gonna flip this up. I'm gonna give him cards too, but who cares? Ooh! Now this is what we need. Flip the Koala next turn. And... End on chain energy. It, it doesn't really make a difference, but... Oh, well, never mind. <sighs> Turn end. Wombat would protect me in situations like this. I kind of want to make a burn deck that's that's uh, Death's Wombat and Dark Snake Syndrome, though. That'd be so funny. Uh-oh. Don't do that. Anything but that, my friends. <laughs> oh, did you run out of cards to play? Is poor Nova out of options? <laughs> I think he's out of options, chat. Oh, hang on. I can't use that. Wait, what? Hold up. Move for play instead. Send this card to the graveyard during your main phase. Uh, how come I can't activate this? Am I missing something right now? Fields, trying to move from play instead. Oh, you can't send it to the graveyard? Wait, 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 wait. Really? So because it can't go to the graveyard, it can't resolve? Wait, I thought that, like, in situations like this, it would just get banished, but you could activate its effect. I didn't realize that that, that wording applied here. That's interesting. Either way, I still win. I just flip Poison Mummy. So, because... Hang on. Because it's the first sentence, that's the cost. If the cost demands that it be in the graveyard, the effect won't go through. Yeah, I always forget, like, the first sentence on Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It's very... That that first period in the card text is very important for situations like that. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
I need a lawyer to, lawyer's degree to understand this game sometimes. Got you in that legal loophole, buddy. What are you doing? Dual lesson, super dinos. Okay, her Hassleberry. Should I try my salty run back against Hassleberry, actually? Maybe my burn deck can counter the dinos. He bodied me last time, and now he has a better deck. I try it. First to go. They're called super dinos. How super are those dinos, though? But we have a teddy bear that runs a toll booth. That's way co way cooler. Okay, we can start with the wave motion cannon. Hmm. He's probably gonna attack first thing, so Yomi ship is probably good first. Ah, uh, do I want? I'm kind of worried about heavy storm. Do I want a judgment right away or set these up? Destroyer Saurus, Jurassic World. Sabersaurus. Okay, he's going for it. Get beans. Ship is taking you directly to hell. What does Yomi mean in Japanese again? I can't remember. I know that Yami means dark. Does Yomi mean like death or something like that? Because I actually just don't know. I'm curious. Uh, wave motion cannon has one. It means underworld. Okay, I thought so. I guess all we can really do is set princess and make them pay the toll. By the way, what what is Hasselberry's full name in the Japanese version? Because what kind of a name is Tyranno Hasselberry, by the way? That's really weird. I'm wondering what they call him in his... Uh, over in Japan. Uh, I don't need to put old man no down yet. This should be okay. Premature burial. He's digging up those dinosaur bones. He's gonna do it again. Hammerhead. Pay the toll. His, his Japanese name is Tyranno Kenzen. His, his actual name is still Tyranno in the Japanese version. That's really funny in a weird way. Um, I could do 2k damage, but... Nah. He's gonna get the attack on me. Unfortunately. But, it's okay. I could play one more monster. I could hit him for 3k, and then wave motion finish him off. Stealth bird... Okay, I could do 2k with that, and 2k with these. Oh, I'm in a bit of a situation. It depends on if he pays the toll, and if he tries to attack with this. Uh, Stealth Bird can't survive. So I, put, I can put Old Man No down. I'm in a bit of a situation here. I could activate Wave Motion Cannon now, hope that he summons one more monster, and then the Just Desserts will finish him. I don't... Uh... Would I last another turn? I might not, depending on if he summons another beat stick in addition to the other ones, right? I think I should just use the wave motion cannon. That extra 1k of waiting won't make a difference, but him summoning more monsters will make the just desserts really good. This and the toll should finish him off, I hope. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Okay, if he, if he plays one more monster, we got him. Or if he makes enough attacks, too. <sighs> no! Old man, no. I need you. I need you! Oh! No! To the giant true nade. Let me get some water. Okay, 500. I got him. We win. Teddy's win. Isn't that disgusting? 
Imagine losing like this. I'd be pissed. Gonna know when to hold the wave motion cannon and when to hit him with the dessert. Opponent's turn. Finish bonus. Nice. Getting good light points from these. I lost, but you can't keep a soldier down. I won't lose next time. Okay, then. All the life points. Raging Wind. Maki. Merry-Go-Round. Unknown Chaos. Limited Fun. Let's check out the main gate. I don't go here enough. Maybe see if I can buy some sandwiches in a second. Actually, it's about to be class time. I can't. Prowler. Jasmine. Yeah, we could duel them. A duel? You want to duel with me, Slifer? You got guts. Does she not remember that I've beaten her several times? I did, right? I think I did. How many wins did it say I beat her? I don't know. Second ago. I'm going first. That's perfect. Harpy deck plus. Not Harpy deck two. Ooh, mirror force. Fun. Pay the teddy bear toll, or else. We don't need Wombat yet. We will soon. Maybe save Mirror Force to protect Wombat if necessary. Draw. No! You put that poor bear out of work. How dare you? He had to go home to his wife and kids and tell him he can't work at the toll booth anymore. Unbelievable. What does the world come to? Give you a storm, girl. I'm gonna give you a dust tornado. I'm gonna boop your card. What was it? Hysteric party. Uh-oh. Well, she's gonna break one thing, that's for sure. That poor Teddy's got no job no more. Unbelievable. Ain't gonna be able to afford any more honey or cookies anymore. I'm slowly burning her with poison mummy and it's satisfying. Let's keep doing it. I'm noticing that my shuffling is very weird. I either keep drawing all monsters or all back row. I'm not getting like a good mix of either. What is my luck today? Anyway, she just casually puts down the hunter owl. That's cool. Any, I'm in trouble now. I, yeah, I could stall like one more, but. <laughs> Reach wind monster near side of the field. Fantastic. Oh boy. This is where the, hmm. I'm gonna have to throw down Morphing Jar and reset my hand. That's what I really need. But she's gonna get to wail on me this turn now, because I did not draw anything. I hope I hope the mummies would stall enough. Uh-oh. Okay, cylinder. Hang on. I, I can bring this back. I can bring this back. <laughs> I can bring this back. Don't worry. Just don't play anything stupid for me, please. Better to set you an emergency here. But first, I need her to attack with this thing. Hmm. Flip up just desserts right away for the 2k. I'll be left wide open in this case, though. Damn it. Mm. I don't know if she's going to attack with the big one first. That's the problem. They can all beat over the other cards. And I have one, ter one germ in my hand, and they go into the attack mode anyway, so... Ah, damn it. See if she summons one more monster first. Uh-oh. So I'm just destroying one spell or trap card in the field. Uh-oh. Better flip this up now, then.
Okay, she's attacking with the 1800 one. Ah, oh, damn, I've, I've lost. The Harpies are trying to get the Ojamas, and that's some very stiff animation on her back there. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that animation. This is like someone's first Miku Miku dance animation. That's what that looks like. <laughs> I don't need your backseating, friend. Look look at her. Look at the way her arms move. <laughs> there we go. Get bounced and get beamed. Return. Now flip that. Pajamas are trying their best. Look at her walk. Good lord. Wait, she has to destroy her own spell. Oh, damn. Darn it! It's not gonna be enough! Oh, no! No, why didn't I get a destiny draw on that, by the way? From your deck. Yeah, I can't get both the giant germs. I was very close. Not to mention, she's got all the face downs there. The life point difference isn't enough. I can burn her for 500 with land and 500 off of one germ kill, but. I needed a little bit more. I, even if I summon the second giant germ. Pretty sure I take the damage after that. I don't think that'll cause a draw. It's not a thousand for the germ, it's only 500. I go burning land, she goes down the 900 at the start of her turn. She attacks in the germ. 500, and then she attacks another germ, which will be an attack mode, so. damn. I can do it, but I'm pretty sure I've lost. It's not going to be enough. 500. Germ dies. She takes another 500. I summon another germ to the field. It has to go in attack mode, and if she attacks it, it'll be... Yeah, I lose, see? Germ's effect doesn't get to go off. Darn it! I was so close to that. Jasmine got me. Too bad. Not good. We'll get him next time. Darn it. She's beaten me twice, and I've only beaten her once. I was really relying on the fact that I was going to draw a back row at the start. Instead, I just went through three poison mummies while she set up. All right. It's all right, friend. Okay, first to go. I was so close. I was very close. If only Giant Germ let you put the, the other germs in defense mode, that would have been game for me. Okay, the problem is I can't always save my back row because her whole thing is that her harpies can bop the back row. I could get the germ going turn one because then she won't have the monsters to beat over it. Hmm. I got Wombat for Skull Invitation as well, but she could probably very easily beat over Wombat. So first, we'll set this. If she heavy storms me, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna reset. Let's do it. Come on, Jasmine, show me what you got. RP1. I don't need Cylinder yet. I know she can play stronger stuff, so we'll save that. Odds are she'll probably target Skull Invitation as a destruction anyway. Take 300. Take 500. And now we get the boys on board. The Germs. The Germs sounds like it could be like a band name or something. Very silly. Ooh, this'll help if I can stall long enough. 
I learned to up. Oh, piss off. I can't get MST because it's like so super late. Whatever, you jerk. Well, at least I still have cylinder. Put these in defense mode. And we'll set poison mummy as long as I can outburn her before she can set up, I hope. I should wait for her to summon that hunting owl thing and then go ahead and hit her with that damn ridiculous uh, cylinder. I should wait for the cylinder takes her real low till she can't pay the po toll anymore. 500. 300. Pay the teddy toll. Now we're good. No, no, you're fine, friends. I appreciate you saying sorry for, tr for backseating a little. I remember when I did early Yu-Gi-Oh! streams, my god, people would show up and they would just tell me the play-by-play -by -play and get pissy when I didn't do exactly what they wanted. For the most part, I think we've weeded most of those people out. And I've got Skull Invitation Needleworm, so this is gonna hit her hard. I kinda wanna go and try Forbidden Memories sometime. Because I tried the first little bit of it, but, uh, yeah, backseating was hell when I attempted it, so... Okay, that thing's on the board, so we can go ahead and cylinder that when it happens. Hold up. Perfect. 300. Take 500 there. That's the harpy. Oh, yeah, I won. I mean, Forbidden Memories, that's a big one a lot of people played. I've not really played it. I know it's super crusty, like Reshef, with, like, fake Yu-Gi-Oh! rules, but I still want to try it sometime. Not to mention a full series of that would probably get even more clicks than this. Wing Rhinos. Well then, that happens. I didn't think that was the one that could do that. I thought it was a different card. Oh well. I'm eating crap for it now, but that's fine. Oh god. <laughs> yep, that was a bad mistake. Oh. Never mind, I win. <laughs> I win! Hmm. My destiny drawed that just dessert. Alrighty. No! Oh, uh. No! Don't do that! <laughs> I was worried for a second. I was worried. I thought she was gonna get the just desserts. But now she got the just desserts herself. Take that, Jasmine. How do you like that? 866. No level up in- wow. Oh, Jasmine is a huge duelist bonus. Hold up, it would actually be useful to kind of repeatedly attack her. I can't believe it, it has to be luck. Yeah, you're telling me. Let's do it again. Duel? What is it about her hair that bothers me? You know what it is? I think her hair looks like it's upside down. Like she has upside down shonen hair. Let's go. That's true. She wouldn't be able to do more than one attack, even if she uh, hit just desserts because of the toll. Air is an upside down spork. Jasmine and Mindy were just kind of like, um, yeah, this very specific counter effect that I didn't realize would be relevant there. When a trap card is activated, return this face up card to the field of the owner's hand. Yeah, I should have realized that would uh, that would go off there, but it's fine. We still won. Mmm. For now, I guess we'll just... It's kind of sucky that I keep double-drawing the germ. Let's do it. Her hair is too normal for a Yu-Gi-Oh! character. Jasmine and Mindy have normal hair colors. Almost kind of normal hair. Harpy's hunting ground. Uh-oh. I'm not paying 4,000 life points to stop that. Or that. The 
problem with that. It doesn't even have to target target it. If a trap card is activated, period. It just happens, huh? All right, Germ is defeated. And we'll thin the deck a little bit by putting another one. Yeah, stretch. Nimble Mamonga would probably almost be better than Giant Germ at this rate, I feel. What do you guys think? I feel like the life point gain of Nimble Mamonga, plus the fact that it goes to defense mode, would probably work better for me. Oof. Okay, a little bit of stretching happening. We're feeling good. Say no. Ooh, Mirror Force. Too bad that doesn't really work for that one card there. Hmm. I'll just put the germ down for now. Hydration and stretching. That's what we do when we sit all day. Nope. I'll just Mirror Force. You already used it. You're summoned for the turn. So go ahead, send it back. I don't even have Nimble Mamonga. I don't know what pack you get it from. I get burned a little bit, but you're gonna get burned more. Look at the Harpy's animations. Look at her. Look at this. Was this animated in five minutes? Look at the arms! <laughs> it's like when you're 16, you download Miku Miku Dance and you just mess around with it for like 20 minutes. <laughs> no, I'll probably take more to figure that out, let's be real. It's a very stiff animation. Um, okay, set this. It's nice that they put some animation there. You see. If I'm not mistaken, that model is edited to match the US version of Harpy, right? She's not supposed to have the purple, like, suit on. This field spell caused slowdown in the first game. Did it? I don't remember seeing it. Anyways, this seems to be fine for now, so let's do this. For a PSP game, it doesn't look awful, but it is kind of off-putting. Premature burial. 800. Mmm. Don't need to do that. It's fine. The hunter owl. That's fine. Do 2k with that now, so we don't need to. Needleworm's not gonna combo anything, but it's okay. Take 500. Oh, boy. Nimble Mamonga is in Miss Dorothy's special pack. Oh, okay. Isn't that the one where you need to have, like, a certain amount of play... No, not play time. You need to, um... Open a thousand packs to get that one? Was that it? Either way, I can't finish her right now. It's all up to this draw. Um... Poison Mummy can beat over this, but the Owl can... No, sorry. The owl can't can beat over poison mummy. That's what I mean to say. If she summons just one more monster, I might be able to. Yeah, I might be able to. I hope she doesn't <sighs> summon the damn harpy though. Let's figure it out. Five hundred. Okay. Let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Wait, that's gonna remove the count for just desserts, right? Oh god, it is, isn't it? How does this work? When a trap card is activated, you can return this... It's a when effect, not, not an if, so... If I flip up my two just desserts... Um... It's gonna be in the hand, so it's gonna do a thousand damage, not fifteen hundred off each one. It's optional. Will she choose to do it, though? Hmm... Obviously, solemn judgment in that. It's not going to do anything. Hold up. 1,400. Oh, good. She attacked the mummy. This is fine first. I'm a little worried. 500. Okay, I'm going to try it. Flip one. Wait, she didn't activate it. She didn't activate it. 
will she? No, she's just gonna sit there and take the loss. Wow, Jasmine, you're a complete fool. <laughs> she had the chance to save herself, but she didn't. She wanted that attack. She took mercy on me. Oh, I can't believe it. it. Has to be luck. We beat Jasmine twice. Now let's beat up Crowler. You're our opponents, Asprey. What luck? We're guaranteed to win. Oh boy, you are not you are not saying that to me. The AI, AI is probably programmed to only use that effect if uh, Rhino would be destroyed. That's true. I don't think they're thinking that hard. This is the same AI that attack that uses creature swap on uh, Kazajin and then attacks into it with the sacred beasts. Alrighty. Ooh, look what we started with. You got Gaia Power. Red Gadget. And now you got a yellow gadget. You set a card. Well, I'm gonna set cards too. Put down that teddy bear toll. Hmm. Could start with the germ, actually. Thin the deck a little bit, and then we'll end on chain energy. Let's do it. Get chained, 500. You scum. How dare you turn one heavy storm me. That's mean. Heavy storm just turns my, my, my whole duel upside down. Well, at least we can put the two germs and stall a little bit. Why does he have 2,000 again? If you have a face-up gadget monster, it gains 2,000 attack. Ah, of course. That's the case. Well, I got Heavy Storm, but that doesn't really matter. I could just play Wombat and attack into a uh, Red Gadget, actually. I, I can just attack with these monsters. Huh, I could. I don't need to sit there. Okay, Wombat, let's do it. 300. What a rare situation that was, huh? Well then, he's probably gonna beat over Germ, but whatever. That's right, you pay that toll, mister. Destroy the whole bridge, unfortunately. I take 200, but you take 500. I can just keep beating over the gadgets at the very freaking least. Um, we can set this for now, for when he eventually gets to attack into it. Mirror Force! No! Unfortunate. Ugh. Whatever. Now we're stuck dealing with this again. I had a plan, but now it's gone. 1,200. <laughs> now he has the same board again. Oh, damn. This isn't good. I'm just gonna have to set Yomi ship and hope this works enough. Blah. He doesn't even have a back row. He just keeps playing the damn gadgets now. I don't think I'll, I might not be able to outburn him. My next, um, my next draw is kind of the deciding factor of this duel, isn't it? Oh, nice. He couldn't beat over it. He has to attack with the other one, which means Yomi ship is going to pop it. Perfect. I got mirror forced and heavy stormed. Hit by the whole ban list. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah, I lost. It was going good, but... It was going good, and then bam. I'm gonna hit this. No. Was that Ring of Destruction? Was he about to freaking take me out? Oh no. No, 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 no. Well, yeah, that's game, ain't it? Oh, wait, wait, hold up a second. Unfortunately, he's gonna... He has piercing. I'm dead. 
<laughs> Still game, because he's got piercing. Oh man, that would have been so close to being cool. Unless he plays a weaker monster first and attacks the penguin with it. Nah, he's not gonna. Damn. That's unfortunate. Oh. Oh, you're still wet behind the ears. Not good. We'll get him next time. We'll get him next time, he says. Okay, we've been playing Burn for a little bit. Let's go. maybe go back to playing Tag with um Jesse. We've made some edits to this, so I should make a save. Save recipe. Save over the teddy bear toll. User recipe. I feel like I'm not far off from getting the 1,000 pack Dorothy pack unlock. Now we've saved it, so let's go ahead and load the other one. The burn deck is good. We could still use some more cards for it. And I, I still think I kind of want to make a more Crystal Beast focused deck for Jesse. Because I need Jesse to be my partner in all the story duels, so the burn is not a question there. What luck? Let's do a tag duel. Lose, win. He's gonna do it. He's gonna play the video game. Isn't that amazing? Dark Ages, Harpy Plus. He's got turtles. Ancient City Rainbow Ruins. Jesse always has to play three copies of Rainbow Ruins, so if I make my own Crystal Beast deck, I think I could run this field spell at just, like, one. And that's all. Um... Okay, then. Open with that. And for now, we can set these. Do I want to run United We Stand? Do I go with it first, or do I wait? I got a backup plan if needed, so we'll be fine. Oh, Ring of Destruction. Yep, I was right to wait. I hate this card. Should I? No, I don't have any high attack monsters. Running Ring of Destruction in my own burn deck wouldn't really do anything. Well, obviously destroying my opponent's monster is the play, but um, maybe, I don't know, maybe I should. That would be good to do if I drew it, like, right away. But I could also be scum and cause ties. There isn't really a benefit to causing ties, though, is there? Hold up. I can special summon this now. So I'll just put it there for Jesse to use. I guess, yeah, I could put it in. Is it limited to one? I don't remember what the ban list... Oh, get out of here. Cut it out. You and your rats now, huh? I think Crowler is top decking that heavy storm. Or rather, that was Jasmine's that time, wasn't it? Never mind. Okay, Jesse got another Rainbow Ruins. Good for him. Absolutely limited to one. Okay. Carbuncle. Oh, she didn't have a target. Oh, it's because... Right, the rat was uh, Crowler's. She's playing a wind deck, and he's playing an earth deck, so of course she wouldn't have a target for that. Snatch deal. Don't steal. That's root. Oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Okay. Oh, hey. Look at that. If it isn't the solution to my problems. As soon as the turn ends. Hmm. Do I want to buff this for next turn? Probably shouldn't. We might- Jesse might need the space. Hold up. Let's see. If this card attacks, your opponent can activate spell or trap cards till the end of the damage step. Okay, but as soon as the turn starts, I can just bounce it to his hand. No, wait, I should bounce it to, um, Jasmine's hand. That's even better. End turn. Yes. Harpy's Hunting Ground. Oh, there goes the Rainbow Ruins again. Are y'all ready for the stiff animation Harpy? She's 
popping my crystal bee. Stop stealing! <laughs> she stole that! No! That's just enough to kill us! Oh, that that's upsetting. They drew all their banned cards, and I'm angry about that. <laughs> all their limited to one cards just kept getting drawn. No, 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 no. We're doing this again. Come on. I am not I'm not accepting that loss. Come on. Come on, do me again right now. Draw. Lose win. Roar. Partner deck, starting deck. We're getting dual points, not from the losses, but somewhat. Okay, he's got the gadgets. And I don't have anything, but he's got a tiger. Oh, he mirror force turned one again. Of course he did. He top decked everything. Well, he got his tiger back. Oh my... Chat, they're, they're cheating. I'm telling you, they gotta be cheating. There's no way they keep drawing that right away. I haven't even gotten to play yet. We're almost dead. <laughs> I haven't had a turn yet. We got... <laughs> what do we got? 2,300 life points left. Oh my god. Well, a thousand more. Like, that makes a difference. I can hit Snatch Steel with this, I guess. Looks like I tie with Ken Dog, so that's a problem. Damn. If anything, I'm better off setting Eagle so it can go to the back row and I can Crystal Regeki something. Because I can't beat over. Ah. I went last in the tag duel, so. Yeah. You kind of put me in a losing situation here. Okay. Okay. Before he can tribute the tiger, we're gonna go ahead and dust tornado snatch steal. Give me that back. I thought it wasn't going back for a sec. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. I need a- I need a drink. My throat's a little bit sore after making that noise. Stop top decking! <laughs> what was that garbage? You all seeing this crap? Oh, get- stop it. Jesse, play the swords. Play the damn swords, I'm begging you. He didn't play the swords. Oh, <laughs> Jesse! Snatch is at one, but they both top deck theirs. We lose. Why didn't you play the swords, Jesse? Why didn't you play the swords? I get. I had one turn in that duel. I was a bystander. <laughs> I didn't lose that. Jesse lost that. That's what I'm, that's my excuse. No, no, no. Rematch. Right now. You are losing to me, Mr. Crowler. <laughs> you are losing. And if I see Snatch Steel and Mirror Force in your opening hand again, I'm going to report you. No again. Ancient Gear Castle. Great. Gaia Power. Ooh. Ancient Gear Soldier. Ooh, okay. Use that MST. You, you use the MST. You're not gonna use the MST. There you go, Jesse. Hit him with that. 
That goes away, but Mirror Force still pops that, at the very least. Okay, hang on. Each face-up Ancient Gear monster gains 300. Each time a monster's normal summon set uh, or set, put one counter on the card. Tribute, summon an Ancient Gear monster. Substitute this card for that instead. Counter is equal to grid. Okay, so I should probably pop that with the MST, shouldn't I? Hmm. Eagle is like that. Um, I could unite if we stand the duck, but... He's pro- they probably have Mirror Force, so I should probably bait it. First, let me go ahead and do this before Jasmine has a negate active. Okay. We'll set this. Um, I could try poking with Eagle. Now nah, I'm gonna do this. I'm prop- I'm probably gonna get Mirror Force, but I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. I need to bait the battle traps, because I know they, they're packing them. And I don't want them to snatch steal anything at the moment. No! They didn't have anything this time. It was a bluff. Amazing. Okay. Good to Oh, never mind. Here we go. I hit my evacuation device. Got a red gadget, and then they summon, or they gather the yellow gadget. That's fine. Take this. Only a turtle? Damn. And now there's a hunter owl. Jesse didn't want to swap that. Hmm. Do a hammer shot. I'm worried about that back row. Look at it. My body is a shield. Pay 15 life points to negate the activation. That's annoying. Hmm. I could creature swap, but you get to choose. And at this point, you'd probably just give me this, and it wouldn't really be that strong soon. Play it safe and bait the soldier, or do I united we stand, use the eagle? Again, three face downs, though, and some of them have been replaced, so Mirror Force is looking likely. And if I activate united we stand, there's a good chance both of the, either of them could just snatch steal it and then beat over Turtle. So it might be better just to put Penguin down for now. Now, I could put this down in case Jesse wants to use it for Carbuncle. We'll find out, but I'm not sure. These two are scaring me. Uh-oh. Yep, there it is. Uh-oh. We can do this. We can do this. Yeah. Okay. Do that. If I give him the gadgets back, he thins the deck by summoning them again, but I need them gone because they're going to beat over stuff. Be Isn't there something that only works with all three? Oh, God, I don't even know. Screw it. Are you dropping frames? Uh, no, it says I haven't dropped any. It might just be on your end. Oh, that's his big play. Why do you get the destiny draw? Oh, because you have lower life points, I see. Ooh, not good. Old man, no. Damn it. Oh, what a pain. If I put down Eagle and United we stand, I might be able to beat over stuff, but... Ah, oh, then I could get it, get Mirror Forced. But if I get Mirror Forced, I can Old Man... No, I can't this turn, because I said it. My creature swap now. Hmm. I can beat over with all of them here. Ah, we don't have Mystic Ruins up. I have the life point lead. I don't know what they could flip up. Honestly, I'm gonna go for the creature swap with this. 
Okay, no activation. No matter what you give me, this is good. Okay. Now it's got that. That's fine. Hmm. Crash into the eagle, then this thing will be weaker and can't beat over the turtle. Or I could just set United We Stand and make it the deterrent, but then Jesse will no doubt attack with it anyway. Ah, YOLO. I'm gonna go for it. Oh my gosh, you didn't have anything face down. It actually worked. I'm shocked. I'm actually shocked that worked. I was fully expecting another damn mirror forced. Okay. These two both have a lot of back row cards, so they're scary together. Oh, swords. Um. Oh, no. Wait, no, they can't play anything like this. Um. Yes, do it. Go for it. I can't give them time to draw into what they need now, because they don't have anything to stop me. Need to take them out. Now's the time to attack. You can do it, Jesse. Yes, yes, here you go. You can do this. I believe in you. Oh, we're ready to slaughter. Yes, yeah, shrink the turtle. Waste it on the turtle. That's good. Nice. Unfortunately, now we have to waste an attack on that. Oh, we got him. We're about to have that sweet revenge. They really want that gadget. Oh no. Hit us for a hundred. Oh, sick. Well, there's my backup plan. You can't do anything. I win. I win! Look at that, chat. Teddy's win! Amazing. I beat Jasmine and got my 801 points. Let's have a duelist bonus when it's with them together. Impossible. We lost. I'm crushed. The score is even, and against you, it's also even. <laughs> uh. Well then, I was here for a while, wasn't I? Class? Hell no. Perfect day to skip class. Check out the dual field. I think Jesse would care to not throw games, huh? Terrence and you. Alright, let's tag duel them. It looks like I'm gonna pass the 10k mark for dual uh dual points after I spent all of it on boxes for a koala. Prowler cheated, I don't wanna go to class. Mm-hmm. I'm tied with wins and losses for both of them now. It's upsetting. They were top decking their limited cards. That's my excuse. Okay, play the Pegasus. Get out a beast, put it in the back. Oh yeah, I also want to get Marshmallow on, that's true. Ooh, nice. And I do, I, I really do want to make a better Crystal Beast deck, but I can't for the life of me pull any more copies of Pegasus. I have one, and I need three of them, because its effect is too good for what the Crystal Beast frickin' do. Okay. Well, I guess for now we can do this. Crystal Raigeki, that, it's only one face down, it should be safe to go for it. No, don't do that. Okay, good start, good start. Oopsie. 
I will set this in case Jesse can use it, but I don't know. Level limit? Oh, that sucks. For you, because I can get rid of it. You're not playing that silly card today. He's going for it. Oh, we tie. Darn. The Golem Sentry. I hate that card. It's annoying. Common Charity. Vorse Raider. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pegasus is going to the back row. Hmm, I got Icarus attack, but uh, only you. I could use back to square one to pop you out of here. And I really could just heavy storm your back row as well at this point. It's not a big deal. Okay, back to square one. We don't need Hamilton. We will boop you. And that's the turtle. I could sac- hang on a second. First, I'm gonna just heavy storm. I don't really need the Pegasus there. That was Ring of Destruction, jeez. We'll get rid of the turtle. And now we're gonna do this. I think everything is going just fine right now. We could really use another copy of Ryza instead of Cybertech here. Well, that worked out pretty well. No cheating, like with Crowler. 698. Only a little less than uh, Tag Duel and the other ones, huh? I should get my own le level limit thing as well. Let me see. Ha! You're really good. I'm all out of life points. Let's duel again. Will I do more escape rooms in the future? Well, Small Ant's the one that invited me to that. I don't really have a say in if he does more. They're the only ones here. Is it too late here to go to class? Or, no, sorry, the store. No one's open yet, so I'll have to go back later. I want to buy sandwiches and max out his next heart. Sadie's the one working. All right, give me a sandwich. Would you like a sandwich? Only 500, quite an increase from the 50 in the first game. Oh, I almost got the card sandwich. Have a ham sandwich. Okay. Haven't seen a gold one for a while. Chicken sandwich. That's always delicious. But that piece of chicken clearly looks like it has a bone in it. Okay, 1,000 for that. And how about you, chumps? Great axe. Brute power. Sure, let's duel them. A duel? Why not? We're grinding the DP here, aren't we? Tag duels seem to get you more um, duel points faster if you have a good syn good synergy with your partner. We have a good burn deck going, and it's a lot of fun. But some opponents, if they have any back row removal whatsoever... Remember Zane in Tag Force 1? He gave me so much trouble because he always had cards that could just pop my back row. And he always would draw a heavy storm right away. Hmm. If only I could have my own MS MSP. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, hang on, Dylan. Are you are you doing something today? Did you want me to play Lethal Company with you? Because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do anything after this, so maybe I could do that. Hold up. Let me see. Let me just check if you did send me a message. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oopsie. Yeah, I could probably do that, but what time are you thinking? Because I got, I could record a little bit of that for uh, YouTube as well. And for how long? Just give me the details right now. Is he still here? Or does he want me to reply on Discord now? Dang it. He didn't text me too, did he? No, he didn't. Hang on a second. First, let me just throw down Mirror Force. Okay. Uh, were you gonna start, like, very shortly? Because I could wrap this up, honestly. I've been going for over three hours. I usually go three to four hours with this. 
Yeah, I could do that. Just give me a second to just like, you know, pee and all that between games. It is short notice, but I didn't even know if, if I wanted to stream anything after this anyway, so I don't mind. So for now, let me just throw down this. Mirror Force, Magic Cylinder. Just give me a few minutes to wrap it up. End turn. Oh, I didn't attack with the Mammoth. Oops, I was focused on reading that. But it's okay because... Hang on a second. Negate the effect of any spell card that targets this card. It longer remains face upon the field. Level 4, lower warrior type monsters uh, from your deck to your hand per turn. Should draw one card. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, I could just Magic Cylinder first because there's only one of them. Take the damage. Sure. Uh, if you're still here, how long do you want to go with that? Because I could probably do a couple hours of it for sure. Oh, nice. I uh, don't need shield crash. I guess I can just set the penguin now. Hang on. Pegasus. There's a thousand free damage from flipping princess, but we don't need that really. I kind of just have princess in the wind deck just because. I really don't need her here at all. Set this for the hell of it. Yeah, that time works fine. Okay, yeah, I can do that. Okay, chat. Short notice, but uh, Dylan wants me to join him for Lethal Company. So why not? Let's do it. 1800. Um... Yeah, I guess that's that here. We're good. Sorry, I'm trying to focus on that and also focus on the duel. Gaga Gigo. He breaks that. We say yes. Activate the effect. Because it was either going to be that, or I was probably just going to play an hour of Rune Factory. I wasn't even sure if I really felt like settling in for that, though. Nice. And now we got this. Evacuation device. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we pretty much win. I'll throw down Harpy's Queen just because... We barely get to use Harpies. It would be nice to make a Harpy deck since it... I think with this game, it's actually viable. Before, there was just the most basic Harpy cards. Sick. You win. 602. Use spell cards 20 times in a duel is never happening. That's a lot of cards to go through. Still need to train some more? Yeah, we did it. Let's keep it up. Oh, we know you like that. Okay. Now, to end on getting some cards, let me just go over here. Am I going to his stream? No, I'm going to keep streaming on my own. We're both going to stream on our own channels. Um, Let's buy a whole box of this and see if we get Marshmallow. I'll open them all up. Zeta, uh, Rec... Re uh, reticulant? Whatever. Mudora. This card gains 200 attack for every fairy monster in the graveyard. Warrior Zera. Marshmallow glasses. Come on. Sky Scourge uh, and, and Rise. Don't need that. Moisture Creature. Zerato. Air Knight. Oh, it's this thing. Uh, okay, maybe I can make something with that, but I don't know. Sky Scourge, Majestic. These aren't the Ultras I want. Come on. Vanity's Ruler. This card cannot be special summoned while this card is on your field. Your opponent cannot special summon monsters. Darn it, I didn't get it. Okay. Well, just for the heck of it, let's go ahead and get a, get a, get a free premature burial. Three, four... Ah, demotion. No, it didn't work quite right. Hmm. Celestial sign. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, let me make a quick save here and we'll set up. Hit the save. Save complete. Okay, perfect. Now then. I guess this is where the VOD will end, uh, 
on the as an episode for YouTube, but that's okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick break, and then we're gonna set up for Lethal Company. So if you're watching on YouTube, this is where it stop where, where the recording stops, I should say. So have a good night and bye bye.